And that cost could come on. You must look for these big men of God. Now let them remove that cost for your head. People should pray. We want you to learn. Got a lot of you. You are coming from church where they have kept you and they have loaded a lot of problems on your head. When I come against you to mind what you are here to do, in somebody's case where they don't send you, you will carry come up from here and they go report the person. But it will concern you. I've told God, anybody that do such thing, all the problem will drop here, they should carry it. Because you are enemy of progress. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And what is your problem if somebody is falling? Why will you tell somebody you're too day four? What do you consider you? You will not fall, Wakana. Leave and now. What do you consider you with that one? Leave that place, leave another place, go sit down. What do you consider you with that one? Why it be your headache? You the envy person when they fall again. When I get problem, this woman, no. Because they say you every time they testify. Yes. Ah. Huh? You come here, you come and I know each other. Mind your business. Are you bigger? You don't sit down. No talk. Leave. A lot of people want to talk and talk. You hear? A sister came here. A member from my church testify how she got healing. I think maybe she was having issue with. She came for prayer too. She took that woman straight to the prophet. Yes, so I'm telling you the truth. And when she she's from that church too, they meet here. That one get testimony that I got. She went straight to the man and tell her, "Do you know Susu person went to Susu church? She went. She she videoed the thing. Show the man." Uh, it's not an agent. He, 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 the, the woman was too close to the man. So I've been looking for opportunity to spoil the woman because she's getting favor from the man. Uh, you know there are politicians in the church. If you are one of them, now they talk so if you know they do make it come on and do. I go dance inside they curse you because they attack my work. Do you know? And there's some people are not forced them to testify. That that sister, I don't know what's her name. I got ill of almost how many years for that? Say without 40, how many years bed waiting? It took her time because people will begin to say, I've been 49 years. As them, 49. 49 or 39 years bed waiting. 22. Not 22. I've got 15 years. A mature woman here. Did I did it one day I was there? And the Lord told me, I said, there's a woman in this video. You are a mature woman, no? you have children, no? but you are, you are, you are weeping and you don't want to say. The Lord told me, I'll see you. I was doing what sure one man testified. <laughs> a married woman. <laughs> I said, you are, the Lord told me, you, are, you, you will not want to come out, but the Lord will be you. But this woman took courage and came out and testified. It was, it's true that she used to weep. So what is there? Is to glorify God. Don't carry that many. If you don't have your own weight until your own come, and if you, if you come, if you don't want to talk, keep quiet. Mind your business. What carry somebody that go and be reporting the fellow? You come, you know, greet pray. Now somebody to wait to talk one year. If you hear finish, use them, pray. Lord, the way you answer this sister, answer me. Now so testimony be. Lord, do you know? I want to tell you. You might not, there are people that their bondage is very strong. You might not even fall. But you will have an encounter. You will find out that those things you, 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 you normally experience, you don't see them again. There are, there are some, I want to tell you something. If, instance, this is my brother now, not him. There's a personality now that has vowed that his enemy will not prosper. And maybe a word come and say, my father is saying there's a man here, this is what we are passing through. And he said, he want to deliver you. Sir, ma, even if you open your eye, as God have located that personality, or guy will go down. But there are some, some, I want to shock you. There are some, as they look, they know, they know here, yeah, as they just watch, and they see where you are going to. The day you say, I'm going to LMA, they will just carry their loan on their own. They will just come. Many have told me, came, he said, don't go and disgrace me that place. I don't leave in my hand, no deal. So, so person, I remain. Yes. Has anybody had an encounter before? 
They'll just come to you and tell you straight and say, in a dream, that place where they go, no go disgrace me for there. At my own, I don't come on hand. I'm so, so, person, so, person, I don't remain for your case. Many of them, before they get here, they'll just leave you alone, because they know that if they follow you into this place, they will not escape. Have you not heard many say, I've been hiding from you, you this man, and you are monitoring me, you are following me? Those are the powers. It's my joy to see people free. People have spent so much money. Look at that daughter. How can you carry somebody to the water in the midnight, 1 a.m. in the night? Carry sacrifice for her and tie water up. I'll be going to the water side in the midnight. And this always sit on here and pray. Which one better pass? Let people should be free. Should be able to free. And it's for you to learn. That's what I want to tell you. That you can be alive. And somebody is using what belongs to you to prosper. But how did you get there? And how did it happen? Those are the things you need to you need to find out so that you can learn and be careful. Let, let me let me let me preach. Let me talk. Do you know who I am? He said, I'm the great. The spirit that manifested was great Oluba Olumba. The 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 auntie brought her to me. The auntie Anita by name belonged to us. Anita, is that? I don't, I don't know. Her. You don't even know her. Oh. Anita. You don't know her name. No. But you have an auntie. My dad is from a polygamous home. Uh, go and ask your father. You know her. She brought her through. Look at that. Oh. I want to tell you now. This is where I'm going to. How did the auntie took her to that Oluba Oluba? She said, how did you get her? She said, I brought her through her ex-boyfriend. They say, oh. They say, oh. I told you, you need to be very careful. Before you marry, pray. There are some people that will come to you. They are agents of darkness that were sent from your foundation to continue that bondage in your life. And that ex boyfriend now is, is a money agent. Now, Anita came. Anita carried her when she was a baby and saw her glory virtue saw everything and decided to take them she took her her ear to our shrine at Uwonobu Ekboma is it Uwonobu? Uwonobu Uwonobu Ekboma in Edo State Anita is using her glory to shine together with her four with four other people they vowed that this one will not make it in life but the man up the man up, who is the man up? Call that name, call that name. Jesus. Call the name Jesus. Call Jesus. Jesus. Call that name, call that name. Jesus. The man up said she will make it. Anita came to us to look for baby. And we gave her a baby boy. She left us and it feels to continue. They sacrificed. So we caged this one. We have taken her glory. She's a very great woman. They're supposed to be in. Our uh, ever in the north, and we made sure that it does not locate her. Uh, and you have somebody in the north that wants to help you. Yes, sir. They will locate you. Amen. Our former boyfriend, Egwin David, is the, is one of us. Ed, Ed, Egwin David. Ed, do you know? Him? Definitely. You know him very well. Have you seen him now? Do you know? Do you know he has him to do with water? Um, I know then I used to attend Olumba Olumba Church. Him. Yes. Him. Yes. He used to attend Luma Luba yes. Church. Have you seen the connection? Have you seen the connection? <laughs> you see? Wickedness. So those sisters that any that you see somebody that have car. Your body will shake like like rotten tomato. You are looking for serious trouble. A lot of them now are ritualists. A lot of them. Edwin is one of us. He, he disappears and appears. But she didn't know. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Very correct. 
He does what? Um, there was one time, I didn't really know he attends this Olumba Olumba. There was one time I actually went to his house as usual. I wanted to pick up a white garment. And he shouted, no, 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 don't pick it, don't pick it. I was like, what's that? He said he would tell me something. So at midnight, at 12 a.m., exactly, so he called me. He said to me that that garment um, I wanted to pick up, that he usually waits every Sunday. That when he waits it every Sunday, he doesn't go to church. At those times, he tells me he goes to redeem. He doesn't go to church. He wears it and crosses his leg. And that's how he disappears and worships with them over there. And that's what he do every Sunday when they have worship. From his... Yes, if, wherever he is. Wherever he is. Yes, sir. He will just cross his he leg. He will just cross his and leg. And he will land there. Sigh. <laughs> Did they clap your hand? <laughs> ah! Madam, Oga, be a true child of God and save yourself. There are many people that are walking on the street. They are empty cups. And there are many men. They will never have children. Many men, many men will never. Hear me what I want to say. Many brothers will never have children. Because what we produce children they have taken it to money kingdom they have slept the money agent so they have collected their semen they have collected their testicles everything is gone they are just here they will say low spam count this 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 that that is the people that agent have collected everything so or guy you too now you know they see woman's skirt your head go they roll like uh, tom and jerry you are looking for trouble they will finish you they will finish you. Many men are empty. Many men are empty. I'm talking to you now. So that's why I need prayer. Now, it disappears and appears, but she didn't know. We use her ear that Anita brought to exchange her glory. Anita died six years ago. I don't know of his ex-boyfriend, Solomon, we also sent to her. You know Solomon too? <laughs> she don't bear eyes. Say this, Pastor. <laughs> I want to tell you something. Listen to me. I want you to learn. Listen to me. Uh, listen to me. Hear me. Hear me. Are you with me? Concentrate. Do you know why this thing is happening to her? They have seen where she's going to. It is these powers they use. They want to stop her. They want to make sure. That thing that God has written concerning her does not come to pass. So they will be bringing these agents of darkness to her. But you will not be, you will not know. That is why we always tell you, be a child of God. Be a child of God. You will not know. Now she didn't know that these people are agents. Even that one that even told her about that gown, really like you. Yes. I want to believe it's the grace of God upon your life. They won't tell you anything. They will just spend money on you. They will use everything about you. And the fellow will just empty. And at the end of the day, the fellow will sick and die. Yes. See, you don't sick now that they cannot solve. Except you find a place like this. I will see some people, they'll just be going slim. Some stars, they'll just be going dream, lean, 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 lean. They will check, they will not say anything. The occultic fellow abuser. Except she find a place that she can pray. We also sent Solomon. He's also using our glory to shine. He has used our glory to build houses and acquire other properties. Have you seen that? Solomon build a house. There are two things I actually noticed in these people. I actually met a long time ago. Yes. And the first time we actually met, exactly 12 a.m., it's just as if my spirit left me. I was shouting, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. He said, don't worry, you'll be all right. Yeah. So I was thinking, maybe it's boyfriend and girlfriend mm. issues. So afterwards, I noticed that something appeared. You know, something appeared. The a personality. Was, Sir? Like a personality. Yeah, personality. I was like, see them, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming to take me. He said, relax, relax. 
I think you used something to rob me. And I said, no, I need to call my pastor. Then I was attending Redeem. And I called my pastor. We prayed for three good hours. Kept on praying. I did not see gets myself. Until one mind like leave his house. I left. And I traveled to school in Ekoma. Then I started praying. I had to go and meet a pastor. I said, um, somebody used you or something. I said, I went to see my boyfriend. He said, I shouldn't go there again. Then the other, um, Solomon. Solomon did not have one naira. He traveled out of the country. He came back and I was even the one supporting him. So when he came back, um, three years ago, we met. I met him at Edo State. And we just met again. No more boyfriend and girlfriend. Exactly 12 a.m. It's just like my spirit left me. I was shouting, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Solomon was like, he just tapped me on my back. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I had to call on that pastor. He kept on praying for me. Praying. And I noticed something about that Solomon. Ever since he had that stuff with me, Solomon started having wealth. Like Solomon built houses within months. Solomon bought cars. He bought lots of things. And I noticed that after like, if I call him after that time, he doesn't take calls. I'm not like Solomon, he blocked me. After four months, he got married. Until today, as I speak to you, Solomon is living his life like, even sometimes I'm like, Solomon, how far? He said he doesn't want to see me. After December, he said eh, he wants to see me, 25th December. I said, what happened? He said he wants to dash me money. I said, it is unusual. I'm not going to collect it. So he now said, no problem. He kept on disturbing, disturbing. So go and write it down. If you can reach him from now, you begin to have problem with his business. Ah, go and write. You see. Now I want to tell you something. You know, I I like her. She's very open, so that many will just be shy and all that. Yes, it's time passed. But I want you to hear what she said. The two of them, the same thing, the same approach, and they both said almost the same thing. Don't worry, you'll be okay because they knew what they did. And you heard that if the guy does not have one nera, you you heard what she said that within short period the man bought you money. He will not give you the money again because it's your virtue. It's against the ethics and the code. If they use you, they don't give you the money because the money will have problem. That's why if you have an uncle that has so much money, it's very stingy. His hand is not clean. I know no go tell say pastor talk something. If they bring back, go deny you. No, not true. People don't people don't get head. So I'm not get brain. They are just working like that. They don't get sense. If they bring you come and deny you straight. Nothing will happen. I don't tell you, I don't mention anybody's name. I only tell you a sign that you will know. Now, I want you to see now. Somebody that owned the glory. Nothing. A business is not working. Money is not staying. Everything is not going nowhere. But somebody else that used the virtue has built houses. I want to pray for somebody. Anyone using your glory to prosper shall die suddenly in the name of you. I have removed my hand from her case. I have released, I have put everything back. I have released her. I have put her glory back. And you heard her. She slept. And the woman came. You heard her. After the prayer, that is deliverance. She slept. I, you know, I didn't discuss, I was never ready to discuss this matter. This one with her. You know, because the testimony now, because I'm not even ready to call her. Amen. But I, when I look at what is inside and outside, is, let, let her talk. So that you, that you are here, you can know that a, 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 that is what your boys are doing you know? they use people fetch to run they will not use it in Jesus name I say God love this sister only few people and she's lucky she comes there and God in his infinite mercy located her or else that's how the fellow will be the fellow will not gather anything will not have anything till he go to the grave you heard, you heard, you heard what the guy did. Wait, you say he called you when? Last. That was um twenty twenty December twenty fifth. Twenty twenty. He will not call you again. Amen. Uh, don't worry. 
Because if he start having problem, if he call you, tell him to come for deliverance. He will not even come. He knows he will not come. But don't even have anything to do with him. I don't discuss anything. Tell him you don't need anything from him. Let him go. But your virtue, your glory, everything has come back. Uh, he will begin to have problem. Don't worry. If you if you call you, ask him what's the problem. Let him tell you what is it. Don't do as if you know anything. No, just keep quiet. Ask him what is the issue. Tell him what's happening. Why are you looking for me? What's the issue? You hear? He begin to tell you that he's having this challenge, this challenge, this challenge, this challenge. Just tell him when you should go and pray. You understand? That's what you should do. Congratulations. Now, God went into a dream and called that woman that is in the grave to come back and return what she took. And she touched her hair at the same time and everything was restored. I pray for somebody now. Anything they have stolen for you, oh, I, let them return it out of a dream. Now, listen to me. This is how it is now. If you have a family member that is a witch, or your father or your uncle or somebody, that's what they do. Anywhere you go, they will send an agent there. If you get accommodation, if you don't pray very well, the landlord or landlady will be a witch. Even in the office, there will be a witch or a wizard that will be fighting you. You want to get something here, they will go and meet their agent there and say, don't allow him to get it. The person will just say, I want to see Oga. say, you will not see Oga. So they will go and lie against you and before you know, they will chase you out of the place. It's their agent. Don't quarrel. What you need to do is to pray. Once you have that, that child, anywhere you go, they will be there waiting for you because they'll be monitoring you. That is why deliverance is very important. The day you destroy what they connect to your body or the day you destroy what they put your body, that day you'll be free. So the Marie auntie was the one that was doing all those, sending those agents. So that why? She has seen that God is taking her very hard. Say, ah, I will not, this glory, I will not allow this glory to shine. How do we stop her? Okay, let's use boyfriend to stop her. So let's first send this one. When she discovered that one, she escaped. He said, let us send this one again. Have you seen now? I want to pray for you. Anywhere there are already evil people for you. I want to hear the fire. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Grace, you are a great woman. You know what the teacher said? She, he said, she said, that you ought to have been in the presidency and be flying with presidents. Yes. He said it. That you are meant to be in the he said presidency and be flying with the president. Which means God will have connected you. You will have been working in the presidency right now. No. Listen. Delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. It's even better for you to know who you are now. If she didn't come here, she wouldn't know who she is. A lot of you don't know that you are great. If you know what, that's what I said, I talk about that revelation. When God showed you where you are going to, Joseph saw where he was going to. So when Potiphar's wife came, he said, the Potiphar's wife, for the dream, I don't see you. For the dream, I don't see you. Eh? You know them for the dream. Now my papa, mama, and my brother, I see them bow. Maybe you. You know they the agenda at all. First dream, I don't see you. Second dream, I don't see you. So I don't get any business with you. Why? God showed him where he's going to. If he didn't know where he was going to, when Potiphar's wife came, because Potiphar has given him everything about the house except the wife. He was like number two to Potiphar. Everything about both Potiphar's money, Potiphar's property, everything about Potiphar. Because when the wife came, he said, my master put me in charge of everything, excluding you. Which means he have every access in that house, except the woman. The woman said, no, lie with me. He said, no, lie. Okay, the way he was trying to escape, the woman collected his coat. The first time the brothers collected his what? His coat. Then put the cloth of slavery upon him. He got to Potiphar's house again. The Potiphar's wife again collected his, his garment again. <laughs> From that garment, they put a prison garment. Abby, what are they fighting? That garment represents his glory. But a day came. Pharaoh said, Get him out at once. Shave him. Change his garments. 
And from that day, a royal garment came upon him. He's not destined to be a slave. He was born a king. And that kingship oil was still speaking. And a day came, a royal emperor came upon him. And he was made number two, a prime minister in another man's land. What God says you will be, you will be. Just be patient. Be patient. No power can stop God. Only you, only you, only you will make the enemy to stop the work of God in your life. No power can stop God. If you can just follow him gently and be patient, wait for your time. Wait, be patient. Wait. He said, wait, be patient, and be of good courage. Wait. You can just wait. Do you know how many years it took him? The slavery. Even the fellow he helped in the prison, forgot him. He was abandoned until the day came. God said, My time has come for you to come out. Because the appointed time has come. Even all the, the, the astrologers, the, the stargazers, they could not see, they could not interpret that dream. Why? Because it's meant to elevate somebody. You, one will tell you, serving God, living holy life, doesn't make you look like a fool. No, you are very, you are very wise. <laughs> because it's going to save you a lot of things. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Nobody join that queue again. It don't end. Church. Let it end there like that. Okay? Number two, yeah, fast. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Choma Ferdinand. I'm here to give God all the glory. I came here, was it um, July, June, July. I have a brother in abroad. That any time that he says it's only me and him in this like the same mother, the same father, only me and him. But each time he sends money to Nigeria, he uses my he uses my account. But he will just tell me to give it to these people, give it to them. He will not give me anyone. So every time if, if the thing continues, one day I ask him question that is like they have removed your mind from me. I will give those people, but I will not collect anyone. He said, uh, I should leave it for now, that maybe I don't need money. I said, but I need money now. He said, I should leave it like that. But the time I came here, June, July, I pastor was saying that we should sow for toilet. So I came to the altar. After sowing, I came, he anointed my hand. Immediately my hand started scratching me. From that day, from that day, that my brother started paying me salary. If I asked him, he would say, uh, I said, this one, you remember me, this one. He said, it's only me and him. Oh. We are the only blood. He don't know any other, any other person. I said, I want to pray for somebody. Any power eating what belongs to you shall release it and die in our name you. Louder and louder. Somebody shall fire. Take your seat. Fire. Yes. So since that time, he has been blessing me every month. He doesn't fail. Every month he pay me salary. So, but of recent, I don't know whether it's because I've not given the test money. Of recent, he started having issues. And since that I have not come, I don't know the date for nonsense must stop. So he started having issue with it. Because I asked him question that this one you are doing this every month. He said that since that time, that June, July, that his way open that they started calling him jobs everywhere because he has been complaining to me that anywhere he applied they, they don't used to call him but after then that they started calling him everywhere that he's not getting job i say oh thank god though but before you know it he told me he started complaining again i say maybe i've not given the testimony let me come and give the testimony so that it will remain permanent praise the lord it's permanent in jesus name Ah, oh, what belongs to you will enter your hands in Jesus' name. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Igwe Joseph Rebecca. I'm here to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of Satan. After last week, I dreamt where my one of my stepsisters accompanied me to the market to buy things. And what I procure, I procure new new things. So I don't know where I drop those things. So when I woke up, I told my mom that this one, one of my stepsisters is accompanying me to the market. I don't know the menu. That it I never changed the name. 
This one said, Great Joseph, and I still live Rebecca there. Yes, why on? And I need to pray. So, last week, my younger brother said he dreamt about me that they are removing rubber bands from my body. I said, Ha, me, I'm coming for this nonsense must stop. Oh. That is belong. I tell them nonsense must stop. So yesterday I was sitting down there and I was so disturbed that whatever that needs to go out for me must go at this time. So beside me, somebody tapped me and said, you will go with shame today. I said, I will not go with shame. Oh. If you, you yourself are telling that I will go with shame, you that will carry the shame, I will go freely from this place today. Again, they tapped me again and I was busy sleeping. You will go with shame. I said, I will not go with shame. I will go with testimony. Along the line, I carry a paint bucket. And light was inside. The touch light was inside the bucket. I was sleeping and I was seeing such thing. I said, what kind of sleep is this now? And I was sleeping. So when Pastor Mecca climbed the pulpit, I was busy sleeping. So one of the ministers walked to me and said, Sister, sister, why are you sleeping? And I recovered that I'm sleeping in the church room. So as I was praying now, uh, I felt the sensation on my right fingers, two of my fingers. It looks as if they are pulling something from my fingers. They are pulling something. I was busy pulling it out, pulling it out. Immediately, I picked sand from the floor and I rub it on that hands. That anything that is not of God must go out from my fingers. Secondly, I felt heavy load on my head. And I was removing it. I was shaking my head that I removed these things from my head. I'm here to tell him thank you for the deliverance and for everything he has been doing for my home. To him alone who has done it, may him receive praise, honor, adoration in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody, any covenant that the enemy enter in your father's house that is affecting your life. Uh, if you can shout to the power for me, I break that covenant that they do. Louder and louder. Somebody shout fire. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Brother George. I'm here to thank God for restoring my vision and for delivering me from marine altars. Early this year, sorry, before I used to see vision about people, when I tell them about the vision, I tell them the solution, it will work for them. But early this year, I saw myself in a dream. I saw myself, I appear in a village. In that village, it was only me that is a man in that village. All the people there are women. They have the same skin, the same haircut, the same color, everything. So they now hold me. When they now hold me, a woman now came and put two hands inside my eyes that they will block this eye so that I will not see them again. So since then, my dream life changed. I don't used to see anything instead it's bad dreams. So before we came for this program, after, when I come back from work, I went to the bathroom to take my shower. I felt like sun enter my I, since then, I've been feeling pains. I can't even view very well. So even when I came here, sometimes I used to go to the bathroom. I would put water on the bucket and soak my face. So when I soak, I would think maybe the tea will left, but nothing is working out. So yesterday evening, Papa said we should rub our eyes, we should place our hands on our eyes, that we should rub our eyes, that you see some people as if there is sun inside their eyes, that they should pray very well. And now started praying with a righteous anger. I pray with my kidney and my liver. Lo and behold, I saw something like a white thread. I removed it from the eye. I saw in the other eye again, I saw, uh, is it cup waves? And I remove it. Since that yesterday, my vision is very clear. Nothing 
like sand. Praise the Lord. Then again, in that same dream, I saw my elder brother and my younger brother. I told them that we should go to the mountain and pray. So they now follow me. When we got to the mountain, we started praying. I saw the two of them, they were playing. I said, ah, why are you people playing? We are here for business. They started laughing at me. So I was there, I started praying. When I started praying, and I now opened my eyes. I saw this, I was on top of this Mountain of Fire logo. Before I knew, uh, this is fire started bombing, 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 bombing. I keep on praying, 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 praying. In that same dream, and I saw myself in a site. I was arranging boys for work, all those things. And also somebody shall say, hey, you, come. As I was call, coming, and I saw Pastor Chus. When I saw him, as I was com coming, and I saw a river. When I saw that river, the river was very dirty. I saw human skull. I saw everything was all these dead animals, and I saw them. Then, as I was looking at the river, and I saw a rat came out from the river, and I saw a dog came out, and I saw a very big giant snake. As I was looking at them, the dog was barking, the rat was attacking me, the snake was attacking me. And also, Pastor Chu said, Hey, what are you doing? Take this stick, kill them. And I hit the rat and killed it. And I went to the dog and I killed it. And, and I used the wood. I started hitting the snake. He now said, no, 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 no. He now brought a, 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 this a knife and gave me, he said, cut the head, cut the head. And I cut the head. As I was cutting the head, he was there laughing. He put his hand like this. He was looking at me. Pastor Chooks was looking at me. He started laughing. I said, I said ah, Pastor CEO. He said, yes. He said, are you true? I said, yes, I'm true. He now gave me microphone that I should enter the church and tell the congregation something. I said, ah, Pastor, I don't know what to tell them. He said, just go and tell them. I was there outside. And I saw my staff started declaring a prophetic word. And I started praying. People in the gallery were manifesting. People in the congregation were manifesting. I said, ah, pastor, what is that? You now say, that is what I want you to do. Go. I said, ah, pastor, how? He started laughing. He was going to the gate and he left. I said, may the name of the Lord be glorified for restoring my vision. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Oga, what do you do? Sir? What do you do? What do you do? What is your profession? I'm um, engineer. I it's a building. Yes, sir. You are going to do the work of God. Amen. Finally. Amen. Uh, but I'll be doing your work. Oh. Yes, sir. Don't leave what you are doing. Oh. Yes, but sir. But be going out for evangelism. What yes. happened is that God has given you a new mantle. Amen. Now, when you speak, when you talk, everyone will back you up. Amen. That's the mic you have collected. And be careful. Are you married? Yes, sir. You have a wife? Yes, sir. Is she a believer? Is she a believer? Yes, sir. She's here? Yes, sir. She prays very well? Yes, sir. You know, does she fight you? Sir? Does she fight you? Does she fight with you? No, sir. Does she quarter you? No, sir. Is she here? No, sir. Is she here? Yes. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, <clears throat> I have another testimony. Okay. Uh, early on the second week of last month, so she now uh, she was in labor. So we went to the hospital. They now operated her, and the baby died. So things became complicated and I say let us pray for three days that God should direct us where we will go for God to intervene in our case so as we were praying the second day as I was passing and I saw people they were praying 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 die by fire die by fire die by fire as I was passing I said ah, 
And I saw Pastor Chuk. And I said, Come, join them. As I joined them, I started praying, praying, praying. He said, Brother, are you true? And I said, Yes. And I said, Follow me. Then I wake up and I told my wife that we should come here for God's intervention. And before, when we were coming, she was very down. She can't, I, I used to support her. She can't walk very well. But since we came, she observed the fasting and she's very strong. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, Jesus! Shout, Jesus! You see this, God? Oh, God, you know me before. No, sir. Now you take and identify me for a dream. How you take and identify me for a dream? Uh, a sister from Bonny Island brought me here during this nonsense must stop, stop July. July. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. That okay. is the first time. You saw me. Yes, sir. Okay, God bless you. Congratulations. God has set you your case. Oga, be serious with God. I don't quarrel with your wife. Your wife doesn't even look at quarrel anyway. Amen. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. What's your, why they fear? Uh, she knows about the sleep. I know. Her. He, if somebody else should sleep, not uh, That's why I did that one. You know, there are, there are, there are some things you shouldn't do. Uh, it, it, listen, during testimony like this, ages are moving. And as somebody is testifying, if that thing they are saying is what you are looking for, before you know, as I pray, you could receive. He said to he might not listen to me. I want to shock you. Your your healing deliver might not come during prayer. Might not come during hot prayer. It might come as you are seated now and you are attentive and listening. That pain will disappear. Amen. And that thing that you are you are here for, God will just do it for you. Amen. So concentrate. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Bridget Skoka. And uh, I want to return the glory to God. In the month of September, I was in a dream. Somebody collected my company ID card from me. So I was trying to collect it, but I could not. So I woke up. So immediately, as I woke up from that dream, in two hours' time, a call, call from Lagos office, not from management, the top management. So she started saying things I which I don't even understand. So the trouble started. So when I got to the office that day, I could not concentrate. So I left, I ran to the church, I met Pastor, uh, Daddy, Pastor Shoes. So I told him everything. And I said, they want to collect your job from me. I said, yes, Daddy, that's what I'm seeing now. And I said, are you here with your company ID card? I said, yes. Say, give it to me. And I, I gave the company ID card to him. And I hold it. And I decree a word. And I said, I collect your job and I give it back to you. Say amen. I say amen. So he decreed that three times. And I said, take. He gave me back the ID. I said, take. It is done. You, you have restored. Your job is restored. So I left. So since that date now, that issue that raised up before, the thing just died down. So this is how God delivered me from. Restore my job and keep my job for me. I want to restore the glory to God. Church, praise the Lord. Any power that want to collect carry for your mouth. Sakanda Libra dos Kalia. If you can shout to the power for a man, let up our tear. He don't ever do. Louder and louder. Somebody shout for you. So I have another two testimonies. The second one is in the motto after the altar versus altars. So I left. When I got home, I slept. And I saw myself in a dream. Then I was in a vehicle. They, I got to where I was dropped. I dropped. So as I dropped, I went, I saw the, a mini time. I, said, ah, I was holding my money, my iPhone. There's one a bag I was holding. There was money and my phone. So I just remember. I quickly I, I ran back. And I said, hey, the vehicle is coming. So I waited. The vehicle came. There's this public bus. So the vehicle came. And I said, conductor stopped. And I stopped. And I said, please, I beg. I forgot my phone and my money. And I said, he was looking at me. He was just giving me sign that this woman, this woman. 
I'm asking, how can you be telling me this woman? Is you, you are the conductor now. Please give me my money and my phone. All of a sudden, the woman just said, take, 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 take your money, take your phone, take your money. And I said, ah, I just collected the money and the phone. Behold, the money that was there, I can remember, the money was not much. What she gave to me was so much, plenty of money. And I collected them then. I was, I was going, I woke up. So I want to thank God for restoration. Church, praise the Lord. The third one was uh, in the... There was a affliction I was passing through for almost four years now that God delivered me for this, the last three days, for this uh, three days crossover night. Usually, unlike me, I don't come for the first, I don't normally attend the crossover night the first day, maybe the second day, but I will come for the third. But this one, I told myself that these three days crossover, I will not miss it. So I actually prepared for it, so I came. So after the first day, Friday, Friday, on breaking Saturday, I got home. I said, let me rest a little. As I slept, I just saw myself. I saw pastor, our daddy pastor shoes, stood. It's like just the way he used to stand, attending to people. So I stood there. When I, as I stood, somebody came, one lady came. The lady was complaining to me, said, Daddy, look at me, oh, all my body is paining me, oh. Everywhere pain. So the woman was complaining. And I said, ah, ah, and I told the woman, I said, ah, sister, is your body paining you? I said, I mean, for me, I don't have any pain in my body again, no. I saw the pain my body has left. I saw the evil, arrow, evil arrows in my body has left my body. I said, now nah, I'm free. So I was just saying it with excitement, so I woke up from the dream. So since that day till now, that pain, because I was passing through pain, pain everywhere. So almost four years now, when I, got to the, when I went to the hospital, the doctor would not say it's malaria. When they ran the test, the level of the malaria and the type of is just significant, not much. The doctor would not say this uh, level of the malaria of the type and the type of, it's not enough for me to have pains like this. They just take the treatment. Even after the treatment, the pace will still continue. And the movement, if the thing starts, there will be movement in my body as if there is war. Even in the uh, nine vision that day, the thing started that day, the thing started, the movement started like that. So, but when I got, I had the dream. Since that day till now, I did not feel any pain. Again. Till eternity, okay, you will not feel it again in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Say affliction, duh! <laughs> Say affliction, duh! Shout it, affliction, duh! Three powerful men. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Odua Kedet. I want to thank God for what God uh, did for my sister. In abroad, I always encourage her to key in uh, in the YouTube to watch uh, the Mountain of Fire Pastor Chu's program. So on Monday, she called me that she's having fever. And in her brother, she said, since you, you don't take the vaccine, they encourage you that you go for coronavirus testing every Monday. So she said she went on Monday. When she called me, she said she's having a, she's sneezing and uh, her body is making her, she's feeling somehow. I told her, please, just be keen in, be watching the program that Mountain of Fire uh, program is on. Please just be watching. So she said she's watching. On Tuesday, she said they called her from the hospital. She went to do the test that she tested uh, coronavirus positive. And um, but what surprised us was that the uh, the sign. They said our own is different because normally the symptom you'll not be able to eat, you'll not be able to breathe. All everywhere you'll be feeling cold. But that one was very different. The doctor was just looking at her and saying, "Ah, madam, this your symptom is, is strange. You have not seen this kind of symptom. That you're very okay. You're talking to us and you're strong." She said, "Yes, yeah, so that she's even feeling hungry now." The lady was just to say the doctor was looking at her and said, "If anything happened like this, that you'll not be able to eat." But she, she said she drove around the town and she came back. I want to thank God that God just did it. He did not allow the, the virus to overpower her. And they did not allow her to stay in the hospital. They said she should go home, that her symptom is different. But I called her today. She said she's okay. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified. For the Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. I want to thank God also. I was, uh, through uh, last week, the accident that I experienced, God did not allow it. It was in a T-junction. Me, I was at the right track and a, a vehicle just came out. The way we stop ourselves, 
Nothing happened to anybody's car. I just said, God. When I, I was uh, afraid this time, I said, Jesus. The man was looking at me. I also was looking at the man. But God just take the accident away. So yesterday, I was feeling very weak. I couldn't do anything. I said, is it typhoid? Is it malaria? I don't know what to describe to myself. But then yesterday, when God touched me, I just came back normal. I want to give God all the glory for his healing. I said, in the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Duru Ikeria. It was on September. One of my friends, the woman friend, now called me, say I should come over to her house. I told her that I'm going to Mountain of Fire, Rumala branch. She said, is it the Mountain of Fire you normally go and pray and shout fire, fire, whereas the fire don't do anything? In my heart, and I look, and I feel somehow. I thought I'm not coming. I'm going to Mountain of Fire. So, on October, nonsense must stop. And I get angry in my spirit. Even when Pastor Chu said, on that Thursday, say, go and break your fast around 10.30. I refused to break my fast. I was praying vehemently. And I observed the two days dry fasting. So all the whole prayers, I was praying for my family and if she's doing anything against me, let she be disgraced. So after the nonsense must stop, I came back. She was calling me, come to her house, come to her house. My spirit began to speak and I managed and went to her house. So as we stayed, she now asked me, will you come tomorrow? I said, no, I'm going to Mountain of Fire. Rumala, she said, I should stop going to Mountain of Fire. And I asked her, Ha, ah, sister, are you not the one that told me that that Mountain of Fire, that their fire is not catching? I just feel like going there. She said, No, the fire is effective. I said, Really? She said, Yes, that anyone who is in your life, if the person didn't remove them, the fire, God will arise and the fire will kill the person. In my heart, and I said, This woman, she's a big suspect. And now keep quiet. I told her, So uh, I'm going to Mountain of Fire tomorrow. We had a program that I'm going, I will not come. She became so angry. And I told her, I'm not coming, but anytime I have chance, I will come. So after then, I said, If she called me, I will tell her, I don't have chance. I'm already in Mountain of Fire. Even this crossover, she called. I told her, she, I'm in Mountain of Fire. So last night, when Pastor Chu said that we should pray against marine otters, I've been praying against that marine otters and remembered her in my heart. After the prayers, I dreamt where she came to me and screaming, shouting, that I've removed hand in your life from today henceforth. I don't have to do anything with you. And the one man now came. The personality, I don't know him. He now said, he now, the man now told her that, see, I've jumped out of her life. And the man disappeared. She was screaming, begging that she have leave me from today henceforth. And I said, God, thank you. As I woke up, and I remember this. So today, when we are doing purging, I had sharp pain in my waist. So when uh, I drank the anointing oil and water of fire and the pain vanished, I came to return all glory to the God. George, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Ngozi. My name is Sister Ngozi. I have many testimonies to share, but I will still let you. The first time I entered this great commission, I used to have sensation on my head. If we start it, we look as if somebody is boiling my head in, in a pot. I will be sweating all over me. But after the first, uh, after that first time I came, the whole thing stopped. Then, last month, I came with my mom. 
after the program, she used to have problem to sleep at night, but after the program, she cannot sleep as, as a baby. Then another thing, there's this lizard that the enemies used to attack me. Then when I, I after the program, I come back to my base with the glory of, by the grace of God, I killed that lizard. Then another incident happened. Then on Wednesday, I came in very strong, but to God be the glory, I'm much better now. Then yesterday in the evening, uh, there was a prayer uh, concerning the God to open our eyes and everything. Then when the pastor gave us two hours to rush, I have an encounter where God gave me a victory. I said to God be all the glory. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Winifred. Your testimony is family to Jesus' name. I am Winifred Solomon. I am here to return all the glory to the Lord Almighty for what he did in my family last night. Praise the Lord. I know the family I came from and where I am married to. So when I entered this arena, I had to switch off my phone. And uh, the prayer started yesterday night. Uh, first of all, when I came to this place on Thursday, I gave a testimony about the first celebration we were having in the family, my husband's house. So yesterday night, after yesterday night's prayer, we are about leaving. A man of God prayed a prayer about, it's like this prayer came up suddenly. And he prayed a prayer about sudden death. That yesterday before we left, coming back at midnight. And after the prayer, I went to my resting place. So this morning, I had to switch on my phone. This afternoon, when I switched on my phone, my daughter, her call entered. I had to call her because I missed her call. And she was telling me, Mommy, did you hear? I said, hear what? She said that uh, my son, the one that stays in Lagos, that yet last night, the armed robber attacked them last night. That are my brother-in-law that, that, that were there yesterday. They were going to pick up his shoe that he, uh, he ordered. Then on their way coming back, I'm Robert attacked them. Almost nearly. That is God that intervened. That did not allow this boy and his cousin brother to be killed like yesterday by I'm Robert. Praise the Lord. When this uh, celebration was coming up, God gave somebody revelation that we should embark on three days fasting and prayer. That we should not joke with it. Because for long, no celebration in that family. That we have to do it. If we don't, if we don't do it, that something terrible might happen. And we started the fasting and prayer on 1st of November. And after the first, we ended it on 4th, on I had to come to this place. I want to return all the glory to God. Because I am in his presence, God fought the battle. And he's the one having the final say in my family. It not allow the plan of enemy. Your to testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Desire Hihenacho. I want to appreciate God for delivering me from ancestral spirit husband. When I was in school, I had a dream. In that dream, I was in a vehicle and my ex-boyfriend then was like my husband. I saw many children at the back of the vehicle. So they were my children. <laughs> so I was very happy. Uh, you know, when I woke up, I was just like, ah, I was happy over the dream. I said, maybe God will bless me with many children. So after that dream, I started putting to bed in the dream. Almost every three months or four months, I must put to bed. I'll breastfeed. Three, three months? Yes. You're the picking? Yes. So, the thing continued. The last baby I put to bed was two months ago. Last two months. So, I came to thank God for delivering me. And the thing, sometimes on my bed, it's like as if someone is on my bed. Yes. I'll be dreaming, masturbating in the dream. Mm. But in the physical, it's like something is happening. 
There was a day I dreamt. In that dream, I saw a cat squatting close to me. So as the cat was looking at me, I was busy masturbating. At a point, I woke up. I said, oh, what kind of dream is this? And I prayed. I never knew that all this thing was ancestral. After that deliverance of that wicked pastor, I thought it was going to be over. The thing continued like that. See, God just located me day before yesterday. I said, may the name of the Almighty God be praised. Amen. Wait. You hear what she said? What he said, uh, uh, that is not correct. The power said, our enemy, not her, had been giving birth to children for the past 20 years. Yes. The power told me, he said, Pastor, you've killed all the children. You've killed all of them, Pastor. Do you know how many years I've been here? And now, if this, the spiritual marriage is in place, Forget about the earthly marriage, if not the grace of God and prayer. Right? Today they will have been having issue. But it was already affecting our enemy through conception. Now, when we tell you about deliverance, now by the time she came here, she was delivered. This is going to, how many times now? You, you this is going to be about the fourth or the fifth time you are manifesting now. No. One is married. It's close to 10 times now. Almost 10 oh, times now. Oh, 9 times. Almost 9 times now. Yes, yeah, since I started. Oh, one, one, one deep thing will come out from just God taking care of it one after the other. One after the other. One after the other. And look at it today. God have delivered her from that marine spirit wala. Now, you go and carry your baby in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for somebody. You need spiritual marriage in your life. <laughs> if you can shout to the power of man, I break that covenant in the name of you. Louder. And louder. Somebody shout fire. Congratulations. Amen. I want to also thank God for healing me of shoulder pain that lasted like for close to two years. Okay. It used to be so painful. But now I don't feel that everything pain is gone. Me. Can you clap for this great God? Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm blossom. I'm here to thank God. This God that called me the head and not the tail. He said to me, You will not die, you will live to declare my goodness to the whole world. I agree with his word because his word is not a word of doubt. I also want to tell God, thank you for my friend that brought me here. The last nonsense must stop. When I came here, I was battered and beaten. Like a sieve. The whole world is out of my own life. But I give God all the glory. God saved my life. Through that deliverance that occurred here. Secondly, the stomach I came here with, if your eyes can see very well, you will know the size of stomach I came here with. But the size then and the one now, there is difference. The one, another one I want to testify of is, since I start passing through all this attack, right from when I was small, Till I experienced paralysis. This my toe here was numbed. If you like, use knife to stab it. I will not feel pain. Until the paralysis left. I'm the child that is asleep, the devil. If I don't kill this child, I will not have my peace. One affliction to the other. And one affliction to the other. This leg, every day I'll be complaining to my mom, even when the paralysis, God healed me of it. I'll be telling my mom, I'm not feeling anything. My, this, my toe is dead. She'll be telling me, massage it. Even while I'm massaging it, my brothers and sisters, it's as if there is no bone there, in fact, until that deliverance occurred. I never knew God took that numbness out of my toe. It was... When I came back here, 
this nonsense must stop again. That I knew that the numbness has gone. Thirdly, I want to say, God, thank you. I came for altars versus altar. My sisters and brothers, since I've started coming here, I've started regaining my dream strength, my prayer life, and everything that I have lost. He said, I will return unto you what the locusts and the canker worms have eaten. Restoration has started in my life. I was here when uh, Father, in the, it's good to meet fathers and it's good to be connected to them in the spirit. I was seated at this line. At the back there, he was delivering a woman and he was asking her, uh, asking the demons question why our eyes were closed and it is good for you to close eyes while praying where I'm coming from sorry to say I'm a winner we don't close our eyes while praying we behave as if we are more than God and we know more than God now as I was closing my eyes we were praying what I saw was like when he was delivering the woman two nations like fighting themselves. When I look into the realm very well, there were no human beings, but there, there was a force here from the altar that looked like eyes, and a force from the main entrance of this church, that door, coming with a force, it was a fire that came to consume. But this one coming here attacked that fire, and the fire was like with force going back. And the thing hit me on my right hand. I said, ah, who hit me? I opened my eyes. Nobody was with me. I closed back my eyes. The next one I saw the following day was like they queue up, like the way they queue up this star is now on the floor. Tomato, very red. And the green cap has not been removed. Fresh, no stain on them. They were just on a queue. On a queue. I was just looking at them. And they were shining. That one passed. The next one, we were given a bucket, stainless bucket. This one is what the Bible says. It says, many are called, but few are choosing. They gave us stainless bucket. Some people missed it. When you come to church, please focus. They gave us stainless bucket and lead us to a stream that was like a well. But on top of it, is muddy, very muddy. That even when they tell you, go and swim there, you will tell the person, it's as if you're mad. But we obeyed the people that they were giving the bucket. We obeyed and we formed the queue. When we were going, they said, fetch, make sure your bucket is full. We put up anybody that put their bucket, that brings out the bucket, the stainless bucket that was new, that is how it will be. But the water in it is not even muddy. It is... A crystal water. Everybody was fetching and going. Those that kept to the obedient, we fetched and that one passed. The next one was this bottle water. They arranged it small, okay, big, bigger, biggest, according to families. The small ones are meant for the children. So they were giving it. I saw hands from the altar that was in a queue giving those things out to so many people when you look into that bottle these bottles if you keep it close to your eyes you won't see somebody far from you but in that realm when you look into that water everybody is so bright that it's as if it's not a can but an eyes blow so that was how they gave and it passed now the fifth one that follows it after the service our father in the house said, go, don't trouble yourself much. Go and sleep and have your peace. Holy Ghost will follow you to the house. I went home with the son, my sister, packed in the church. When we went home, she went to her bed. It was only my mom and I that was remaining in the sitting room. After everything, I went and sprinkled the sand everywhere. I came in with one joy. And we started praising God as if we have never praised God before. My sisters and brothers, I went to bed. As I was on the bed, I have not even slept. A woman in the midst of the ministers here ran out. 
And it was still like we were in the church and we were about to go out. Pastor, our father here was still talking to some persons. The woman ran out and approached me. You, I turned. I said, what happened? She said, there is a message for you. From henceforth, don't let any and any person touch your face. She went back, she came back with another force. I have told you from henceforth, don't let anyone touch your forehead. Except men that God has called to do that. I said, thank you, ma. I left. That was how that rem cut off. Then, I want to say something. Since I met our father in the Lord, we shouted in the office. He was talking to me. Like a father should talk to a child. After talking, before even that, that nonsense must stop. He was shouting. Everybody can hear him when he was shouting. You must go back to school. Oh. It's as if, uh -uh, this person talking to me. Okay. He was shouting. You must go back to school. Oh. I said, Mem Adeba, you must, in fact, don't go without seeing me. I went and I met him. We sat down and talked. He was still saying, you must go back to school. And we talked, we finished talking. And I said, go. Go and make inquiries of how you will get into school. But listen to me. What did you study in school? I said, I did economics. My first course at University of Calabar was education economics. But along the line, what brought me here? Sports, the whole thing. I came to Uniport. I gained admission. The same thing. At the verge of breaking through. I've submitted my project. We have done everything. The affliction started again. That was how I left school. My sisters and brothers. He now said, you are not an economist. You are not an education economist. You are a nurse. I smiled. I said, somebody has told me this before. But too much of affliction on me. I did not want to pay attention to it. But glory be to God. Since then and now, I have derived the joy of going back to school. Before, if you talk about school, I might slap you. Because somebody shout hallelujah. I want to pray for somebody. Whether the devil like it or not, you will fulfill your destiny. And the amen is not good. I say you will fulfill your destiny. I repeat myself as God lives and the spirit of God is alive. As long as they could not stop me, I pray for you. You, that you are hearing my voice. And you are in this auditorium or you are outside. If you can shout three powerful amen. By the mandate of heaven upon my life, you will fulfill your destiny. Louder. And louder. Somebody shout fire. Random. So, this is the end of it. So when I left his office, I went home. I told my parents, they were excited, they were happy. But of recent, before I came, we were discussing it outside. Now, he said I should look for an evening class to attend before I would take the exam and go back to school. That I shouldn't be scared, I shouldn't be worried. That everything is under his supervision and under his protection. I said, amen. One of my younger sister was like, how will you get the money to start going back to evening class is not possible i said pastor shoes has taken over my case it is possible and i will see that evening class that i will attend i give god all the glory i give god all the honor may his name be glorified in jesus name Amen. please stay stay don't go i want to tell you something okay no i will not say it come and see me go come and see me i will not say it but I discover put clap for jesus Pastor, come and see me. Blossom, see me personally. After, if I don't go see anybody, I go see you. Take. Church, praise God. If I God. finish on Sunday, wait, on Sunday when I finish with you, yeah, as I pray for you for water, go also. Except we won't attend the early riser. I mean, breakthrough service. Breakthrough service. I will be here by the grace of God. I will attend breakthrough service. But after that breakthrough service, I want to rest. Those of you that normally wait for breakthrough service, where you come for nonsense, must stop. Wait. And attend the breakthrough service. That's after we finish tomorrow. Amen.
There is something I want to tell that sister, very deep, but I will not say it because some of you are discovered now. You they talk which you're not supposed to talk. So it's, a, it's what she doesn't even know about. But I will see her personally. You don't need to know about it. Yes. Fire on. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Adele Keremi. On last week, Friday, I was about going to work. So I don't even know what happened. So it's just like a mistake and all that. I can't even explain. I poured water on my leg. But that Friday, I took drugs and everything was fine. On Monday, I was about to go to work. I couldn't move my leg. So somehow, the pain, everything. So it's not as if there is a rope in that leg that is tied to my neck and my chest. I can't breathe very well. I can't do every, anything. That Monday, I go to the office. And now? Our supervisor was suspended. And I was asked to take that position. I was like... Now, okay. now, now. Then, on Friday, I came. I was still feeling that pain. I sat down there, so... Then our pastor said we should come for this zoo and that we should come and give what we have for this zoo. So I came outside. I was still having that severe pain. I stood here. After dropping the money, I went outside. I saw that the pain. I even I slept like a baby. I didn't feel the pain. The pain was already on my chest. Everything disappeared immediately. Ah. Then the second one, yesterday, I was outside. So he said they should call everybody. That is outside that we should come inside the church. So I came inside, there was no space. I stood on the stairs there. So after the prayers, he said we should go. That something will happen in our dream. Eventually, I went outside, I slept. In my dream, I saw that I saw white basin. Crocodile is inside that white basin. And there is this woman, she's like a nurse. She was putting on the same gown that I was putting on in that dream. The gown was still on me. I stood on the other side. I was on that gown too. She has gloves on her hand. She was now injecting the crocodile to vomit some things. So in that dream, the crocodile vomited this uh, rotting lizard with bulldog head. Three, as in rotting, smelling. So I was now asking questions. Ah, why will a crocodile vomit lizard with Rotting dog head. She was not like that. There is more. That more will come out. So she injected that water again. Another one came out and still vomit the same thing. So I was just about to say something. The next thing I saw was that I vomited three rotting lizards with bulldog head <laughs> on it. In fact, I say, may his name alone. God that has done this for me. Hey. That has, because even remembering that scene alone is as if i'm going to throw up the thing is so rotten smelling very disgusting and it came out from my mouth Jesus. in that dream i said god that has done this for me may his name alone be highly exalted in truth anything you ate in the dream that is troubling your destiny the god that removed that one let that same god flush them out from your system in the name of you louder and louder that Just is what is someone is expressing pain sickness all manner of things they will take the to the hospital they will not see anything three dead lizards inside and all that you know please let me clap for jesus i beg <laughs> hallelujah yes ma continue Church, praise the lord hallelujah my name is ama i come to return all the glory for what happened for me yesterday. But this matter not be today. I don't know what Ah, <laughs> now this sister, way they say your husband, the, your mother-in-law. But maybe she, no, that's not she now. It's not me. No, maybe she. she. Baby, no. Sacrifice. Oh, it's not this one. Where's that one? That one, she's, I think she's around. The one that, oh. The one that carries sacrifice. Now this one carry. <laughs> The matter not be today. Uh, not be today. Talk about where you start. Okay. Uh, Praise the Lord. <laughs> so this thing started. Oh, I thought it's that woman. I'm looking for that woman. That woman, in fact. Where is that sister? She's around. That the husband, the mother-in-law, show Pepe. Where is she? Waiting be her name again. That woman, that woman, where the demon is speakable.
Where is the woman? What is her name? Give me the name now. Who write down? Now, Pastor Mecca. What is her name? Okay, why were we waiting for that? Fire on. I need to sit down, man. I need to sit down, man. This woman, uh, nurse. Hey, madam, you know her now. Okay, fire on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It all started when I was in primary school. That is when I noticed that I'm having problems. So each time I went to school, then, either I will flog my teacher, I will run, come back. Uh -uh. I will not go back again. My grandmother will be asking me after two days, why didn't you go to school? I said, that school self, I don't try. I don't want to go to that school again. Before you know it, the teacher will come to our house. He will start reporting to my father the character I'm um, developing. And I tell my father, I say, nothing like that. So I will go to school. I will fight with people. I will make sure, say, I wound them. And at times, people will be coming to our house, reporting to my parents. Say, ah, uh ah, -uh, what kind of character am I living? I don't know. When they ask me, I say, nothing happened. So it happened at a time when I was in primary five. Sister, don't worry about that. Tell us what God has done for you now. Okay. Yesterday. Yes. So yesterday, I was there. I was sitting. So when pastor mentioned people that, is, there are some people when they stay, they see money under their pillow. And I flash back how I normally get money when I was secondary school to my university level. I say, ah, it's like I will get a one spirit say, don't say anything. Pastor said they should raise there. I was trying to do my hand like this. I said, I said, no, let me say, I now stood up. I was telling Pastor what happened to me. So, how whenever I need money, I will go to Imo River. I will buy a bottle of Fanta. I will buy a biscuit, carbon biscuit. When I reach there, I will pour the Fanta. I will, I will just throw the biscuit away. So, by the time, before you know it, I will see money. My friends will be asking. Put that mic for your mouth very well. My friends will be asking me, say, how do you normally get money? I said, I don't know. They'll be coming close to me to know how I get money. After, they will say, okay, we have forgotten that your name is Ego, that your name now is working exactly. That is how you are getting money. So when I was in SS3, I would buy clothes because I was staying with my uncle. I would go and drop it one, uh, with one of my school gear in their house that one is living with her, his brother i would say keep this clothes whenever i come to school after school i'll go and change it when we don't work out finish i'll go and return it back so one day the brother the girlfriend now took down my clothes one of my clothes i went to their house i said where is my clothes the clothes i bought is not complete he said it's like the brother girlfriend took the clothes i said where is she staying he said no they are staying at Tibori camp that the father is an army. I said, I will trust them. And I went there, I saw the mother. I told the mother that your daughter collected my clothes. He said, ha, ah. the woman was begging me, I should stop, I should not make any problem. That she used to sell her crack, I should go to her bar and brought a uh, clothes for me. And I left. So the next day when I was going to school, because I was schooling at a uh, grammar school, uh, Niger grammar school, the line, with my friend. So the brother now met me, say, why did you go to my girlfriend's house and report to her parents? I said, you promised to pay me the money, you did not. So the boy started beating me. People was around, shout, nobody was trying to help me. I was crying, shouting, the boy was beating me. The beating was much, I can't even do anything. And I looked look back like this. I saw a bottle of star on my hand, and I used it and chipped the boy. So blood all over the boy, everywhere. They're now rushing to the to hospital. So that process, when the boy was in hospital, and I meet one of my schoolmates, I said, come and escort me somewhere. He said, where are we going to? I said, no worry. We now went to the hospital. Nurse will not see us. I will not enter the ward where the boy is lying down. I will carry pillow and press the boy. I want him to die. Before you know it, the boy will be shouting. Nurse will come out. We will run away. So I've been doing that for more than three, four times before the doctor now called me. The doctor was on like, they are going to arrest me. And I said, tell him to give me my clothes. 
So at times I was, I've been beating people. One that was passing on my own. Don't worry, madam. You like talk okay. who? So Tell me what God did for okay. you. Yesterday, so I didn't know what happened to me. Uh -huh. So they now brought me to this place. Yes. So that's the only thing I know. Before I know, I was, I saw myself exactly when they went to the river for sacrifice. I saw myself inside the boat again with different light. So they were about to with the boat, come, come to the edge of the river. They now dropped me, said I should go. That I should not come here again. That they are not, they are, don't have anything to do with me again. But I, will I should tell that man that is disturbing there. He should go to my family and fight. So I come to return all the glory to God for the deliverance yesterday. Then drop you from the boat and make you go. Make you go. They say I should go. Uh -huh. I should not come back again. That oh. they have nothing to do with me again. Okay. Now, they now said uh, the man should tell that man to go to they your They said I should tell that man that I disturbed them. He should go to my family and fight. I'm that's disturbing what, them. That's what they uh, said. What they, what they tell you is that mommy what I don't come on hand. It means witchcraft. Witchcraft for your papa out. So then we say you don't solve one battle. Another one see day. Now they tell you so say the mommy what I oh no, we don't leave you go. But face your father's house now. Your father's house and do okay. justice, which means you will continue to come for deliverance until everything is clear. Congratulations. God bless you. Are you clapping for this great God? That is deliverance. Is that demon that is making us always fight and injure person and blood will flow? It didn't take those blood. But now, that spirit is gone and never to come back in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mabel Oyomi. I had this, this about four months ago. I was spiritual blind. Oh, physical, I will just observe sand and everything will just... Good. As if his breeze is taking it into my eyes yes. and my nose. Like that, like that. So on Wednesday, we have a program in church. So I went to church. My pastor quoted a scripture. And when I went home, I go through the scripture. I meditate on it. Then on Wednesday, that very Wednesday, I came back from church. I slept early morning on um, uh, Wednesday, breaking Thursday for me to come to this program. I had a dream where they keep a stew and they keep a, a logo Z boost and cup, this a glass cup on it. So the, uh, the logo Z boost is about to fall. I was like, ah, ah, what will make this thing fall now? Should I go and hold it? I was confused. And I woke up from that dream. I prayed about it. I canceled. I said, anyone that is bad, Lord, cancel it. Then, on that fateful day, on Thursday, before coming to this place, I sat on that stool, that particular chair. And I was making clothes because I'm a fashion designer. So, as I sat down there, I was making a clothes. I opened the door just a little. Before I know, something like fly or cockroach, just something like that, perched on me, on my face at this spot. So when the thing hits me, I wanted to fall in. I don't know the thing that just made me not to fall. Then I then remember the dream I had. Now? Then, now when I came on the mountain, I was coming to this place on Thursday, when I got to a particular place, so that as if they, they just take life out of me, they take the beauty, the glory, everything out of me. I was like, what happened? What happened to me? I don't know. Like that, like that, I managed to come to this place. So I sat at the up there during the time of a, a marine deliverance. Ah. So what happened was that last month, I had a dream at this spot where I have um, operation appendicitis like two times in a week i noticed that something will come in my dream as if the thing want to take take something out of me but before i would try to struggle to wake up i will feel a sharp pain like that two good times in that week i prayed about it so when i came to this place pastor was saying uh, about marine stuff so as i prayed I, I don't know, uh, uh, the only thing I could remember, I would just say, let me go, let me go, let me go. Before I know, I fell, 
I fell down. I was on, on the ground for some time. Uh, as if life had gone out, out of me. But after some time, I, I came you back again. Then I noticed that I saw a man that was putting an eyeglass. And this man told me that he's going. Okay. He came and packed all his property it's that he bongo. brought. Everything he uh -huh. packed and said he's going. Bye -bye. So as he was going, I was not be able to ask him some question. Uh, yeah. Because I wanted, I, I was supposed to ask him a question because I was so done. He was just giving me her. I'm going. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. He then left. He left. I <laughs> clap for Jesus. Now the spirit husband don't go so. That sister, this, that is a spirit spouse that has held you down in captivity. But he has packed his load and go. That is what you saw. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. The it, second one is spirit of dead. Uh, no, you are okay. You are okay now. Don't worry. You are okay. God bless you. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you, you see, she saw the man. God wants her to see why the power of God knocked out that other man in prayer. And that the spirit spouse that had been a problem in her life said, bye bye. I don't go. Au revoir. Au revoir. He can't elude. Waka. If that spirit spouse is still there, forget about relationship physically, that will be a problem. I pray for somebody. Anything attached to your life, I command them to catch fire. Yes, yes, yes. Amen in Jesus' name. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Nkiruka. It was on Wednesday last week that I was in my house in Oko at Anambra State. My phone rang. When I picked the call, then I had a voice, NK, how are you? I said, I'm fine. How about your family? Fine. It's me, mommy, favor. Please, I don't know. Uh, there is a place we used to go for prayers at Mountain of Fire. And last week, we had a, a, a program which they called Altar versus Altar. After the program, when I went back to my house, when I, in my dream, I saw you. You were at, on the altar giving a testimony that God delivered you of seven years affliction. So, I don't know. But before I go on, uh, do you have any affliction? I now said, yes. He said, what is the affliction? I said, affliction of joblessness. She now said, when did it start? And I told her, it was 2016. When I was coming back from my dissertation defense, master's dissertation defense, then I received a message in my phone. Please, don't be annoyed that the school where you teach, Federal Polytechnic Oko Staff Secondary School, has been shut down. And the appointment starts, uh, you, are, you start to be disengaged. Uh -uh. I said, okay, God, maybe it is for greater glory. Thank God I have finished my master's. I will look for a better job, self. So when I went home, I told my husband, he said, staff of the Polytechnic Polytechnic Oko. He said, yes, he had it. I said, okay. I said, I cry. He said, I shouldn't cry. I should just pray that the university senate will approve my master's result. So I will go and obtain my PhD form. I said, no, nobody does it. PhD without having anything to do. I cannot continue, please. Financially, you know you cannot carry it, your salary alone, together with the family. He said, please, you have to go. Now, when my results came out, I have to go and obtain the PhD form. I continued with my PhD. Then, 2019, I finished my PhD, and the university state approved that result too. I got my certificate. Then, a brother to my husband is the polytechnic bosser. I took my result to him. He said, okay, congratulations, don't worry. When we got a, get approval for your appointment, I'll call you. I said, okay. Then, PDP chairman, Enugu State, is a cousin to my husband too. I took my PhD result to him. Uh -uh. He said, okay, don't worry. When they will employ for a suit, I will call I'll you. I'll call you. Yes, I said, okay. I was happy. And I went home. Since that day till today, nobody has called me. So when I call them, I will be crying on phone. Now my family is suffering. My children are grown. They are about to enter university. My husband's salary alone cannot carry the family. They will say, come, come. Maybe I will travel to Enugu. He will just give me some amount of money. 
Then when I get to the bus, he will give me some amount of money for me to go. When I just go back to my house, the money is too small to manage the family issues. So I just keep it. I continue praying. I told my husband, we should be praying. We will continue praying. So we continue praying. Then my, when mommy called me, say I have to come to Port Harcourt for Mountain of Fire program. They have another program this week. I now laughed and said, no, I cannot do it. Say, there is no way I can do it. That the church I go has nothing to do with Mountain of Fire. But she now said, Where be your church? Roman Catholic Church. <laughs> now through you talk. So I now, she now said, but God delivered you there. Will you reject God's gift? I said, no. We used to pray now in my house. My husband prays very well. I pray very well. She says, NK, please, if you can do it, please come. I said, okay, let me tell my husband. So when I off my phone, I just pray, God, if really you are the one that delivered me at the altar that mommy said now, let my husband just say, okay, go, when he comes back from work. So when my husband came back, I fearfully told him, look at the call I received from mommy favor. Look at what she said. He said, okay, but the problem is this insecurity in the country. And you know, IPOB has declared no movement within that week. If you go, how can you come back? They said they will be, there will be 10 days stay at home. I said, okay, let me tell mommy. I called mommy and told her. She said, NK, come first. After the program, if you cannot go back, you stay in my house till when the uh, stay at home is over. I said, okay. I went back and told my husband, look at what mommy, mommy Favor said. He now said, okay, go now. I said, God, I thank you. That means you are the one. When I come to Mountain of Fire, I know you will not disappoint me. Hence, you have called me. I know you will fulfill your promises. I now came. On Thursday, I came here. I came to Mommy Favor house on Wednesday. He brought, she brought me here on Thursday. said, here is the place. Talk to your God. Ask him to manifest himself. May the dreams she saw be materialized. And I said, okay. On Thursday, the program started. I prayed Friday, the same thing. It was that yesterday. This, that Saturday morning, that when pastor said, all the ancestral marine spirit that has been tormenting you should leave, should leave. Then I, we were praying and praying and praying. In my prayers, I just saw my father's face. He appeared. When I saw his face, very red. I now, I couldn't control myself. I now fell down. So I was on the ground for some time. After the whole thing, around 5 a.m. when we got, to, when we dismissed I slept off. In my dream, he now came with one woman following him at the back. The woman said, she is his uh, 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 mother. Oh yeah, give it to him. Ha. Give it to her. You made the mistake. You caused the whole thing. You allowed her to join, to follow that girl as her friend. And that girl has led her far. She has escaped. Give, it, give a certificate to her. Give a certificate to her. Then my father now threw my PhD certificate to me. I now collected it. Who threw it to you? My father. Your father. Yes. Through the certificate to you. Yes. But okay. A woman at his back said he, yes. she's he, uh, his mother. His mother. So I now collected it. The woman said, I made you famous so that none of your children would be rich. Now you allow this person to join that girl that led her to that man that always used fire to def defend them. Now they, she has escaped. <laughs> she has escaped now. She started cursing his, uh, her son there. She has escaped. She has escaped. I collected my certificate and saw the university logo and the name. I said, God, uh -uh. life. I now fold my certificate, put it inside my handbag, and woke up. I said, Before that, she, she, he continued saying, I, No, it was Mommy Favor that he's going to deal with Mommy Favor. The one that called me to this altar now. He's going to deal with Let him go and do it. Deal with the him. one that called you to this altar. Uh, yeah. Somebody say, Altar versus altar. <laughs> ah, yes, my own. So she, he said, He's going to deal with Mommy Favor. His mother continued blaming him. That you would have stopped her. That time he, she was in jail too. When she joined that girl as her friend. It was that, that girl that led her to the man first. Before she now stood her ground. That's why she, Mommy Favor now saw her. Assuming she, she, she didn't join that girl. To know the man that used to use fire to back them. She would have not escaped. You know among all your children. She's the only one that has a PhD. She's the only one that escaped. She's the only one that married good husband. She's the only one that has uh, uh, better children. Child. Eh? So she continued blaming her son. 
Yeah, you did it. You caused it. You caused now. See, she's now tormenting us. The, her son now told her, Come, let's go to Mummy Favor. We are going to deal with Mummy Favor. We are going to deal with her. <laughs> they now left. <laughs> they said, Let us go and deal with Mummy Favor. When the power that I want to come and attack you, because you are coming here to pray, before they appear, fire will destroy them in the name Louder and louder. Somebody shall fire. That's all. Your test. It's not all, but because of time. What did happen after that? When we were children, when we were kids, the no. mommy father or sister that led me to Christ, when she came to be my friend, my father refused. That had, his children do, do not get friends outside. I never knew the reason. So, but when I told him, please allow me that look at he said, Who is the father? I told him. He said, Okay, his father is a good man. Just follow him. So that uh, morning, when his mother was blaming him, he said he never knew the girl would take me so high like this. Ah. That assuming he knew she would have he would have not allowed the girl, allowed me to follow the girl as my friend. Don't worry. Yes, so You're telling anyone that is close to you and is behind your affliction, they shall be exposed and disgraced. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes. Church, church praise the Lord. The next thing is my Job. Name, Job. My name is Chujoke Oko. It was on 19th, 2019. My daughter writes Wayek finish and before the wayek she have growth and that growth we have go um, uh, upth different hospital they send us to go the doctor that tell us to do test and uh, scan everything after the last scan he sent us to go was forty thousand naira. we brought the the test the scan to him he looked at it he said don't madam don't worry Later, I will call you back. My, my mother was so angry that I should carry her, her grandchild, come home for the operation in Oweri. So I, my husband worried, I will carry the, my daughter, go to Oweri. The doctor, that my junior sister, the hospital. Madam, there. what happened now? So after, what happened now? after we did the test before we go Oweri, yes. I carry her to this altar. Yes. The part of the money, the part of the money we from uh, for the hospital come, I dropped six thousand because before then, we, my husband always see where he carry cops to village. I came to this altar with her. I dropped six thousand naira here. I said, this altar, my daughter will go to operation and come back alive. Nothing will happen to her. Then this last uh, crossover night, I came. We finish it on. First Sunday stroke Monday. So as we sleep on Monday, breaking Tuesday, enemy came to uh, to kill yourself, not me. So when I try to call Jesus in my dream, my husband noticed that I am calling Jesus. He thinks that I am dreaming. So later, when I struggle and wake up, I inside me I begin to call Jesus, begin to pray. As I pray, finish, I come out. I I begin to tell my husband the story. The how everything happened. Then when we come here, yes, uh, for nonsense must stop on Thursday. The man of God, I make up my mind, said this nonsense must stop. This death, sign of death, sign of death must stop. So on more, on that Thursday, the pastor Shoes mentioned three people that they will die. Three people that will, they will die different accident or they sleep, they die. So when he mentioned it, I am the one that shouted most because I know my father, the same thing happened to my father. The same thing happened to my junior brother that is in abroad. They pressed him on the bread, he, left, he died. And he, he came again. And since that, my brother, we buried my dad, my brother. I always hear a bird, a bird calling my name. Holy God! How can I be calling somebody in name in Africa? The, the last voice. Madam, random Bob. I won't finish so this. Reach, I won't pray one prayer reach before that, I go sleep. Reach that yesterday. Where this morning, where we finished. The man of God. Two, there are two things in my mind. 
that death and accident. My husband always dream accident in the sight. So, as, as my son, I asked my son, write that God should remove accident for the prayer request. God should remove accident for us. So, the man of God, as we want to go out, the man of God clamp altar, say that God has cancelled accident. That that accident will not hold. I claim it. I shout hallelujah. I shout most among others because I know my problem. So, I thank God for removing death and accident for us. You and your family have escaped forever in Jesus' name. And anyone that is sending affliction to you, they will die in your place in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Choma. I want to testify the Lord's goodness upon my life and my family. During the crossover night, a sister testified about sound that uh, her customer, something like that. So the same thing we were passing through that in our shade. So during the in the on the Sunday night, so uh, breaking Monday, I now sweep the altar and pack the sand to the shade. Getting to the shade, we saw the pool at uh, the front of the shade, spray it everywhere. So I now buy Cameroon pepper, 15 naira. Then pack everything and burn it. So before we burn it, I make a declaration. I said that that person that pool will confess. So after the burning of the stuff and the, I spread the sand there. So we, normally we do have four cells. After, if we just saw the pool there, there will be no cells throughout the week. So after two days, the person came and said, you people came here with nothing, but now you people are coming up. I say, God has started disgracing you. And I want to thank this great God for the search aspect. Everything is fine now. And I also want to thank this great God for delivering my son from the spirit of death. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Everyone that have one business or other, from now, your business will flourish. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Njoko Ramos. I came to testify about the goodness of God for healing. Uh, it was today after the anointing oil. We drank the anointing oil. Uh, about a month ago, I broke one of my ribs. So I barely go to bed or stand up. So I start drinking the uh, anointing oil. Yeah, so... We are praying, you know, with the water. So as I was lifting the water, I felt something like breeze, you know, around the place uh, the wrist was broken. So I, I started patient. I said, what is happening? After the prayer, so I dropped it. I feel my ribs. I couldn't even locate the particular place, you know, the ribs broke. So the I... The thing is gone. Yeah, it is you gone. You are okay now. Uh, yes. You can stand. You can move without pain. Yeah, Your so... testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Number two. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I want to say that God brought me into this place for this testimony. I never wanted to come to this meeting, and uh, this is my first time of being here. So a woman invited me to. Don't this worry, place. what happened? Don't worry about it, brother. Everybody, so somebody invite them. I, when I came here on Thursday, before leaving my house, I pray and I say, God, as I'm going to this place, I will not, I will not come back the way I went. So long as, as far as my coming here, I reach, I get to the compound here. So when the program of that Thursday evening finished, I said, let me go and uh, to ease myself, to go and pass out physics. Getting there, the people never wanted to come. I said, ah, ah, what is happening? So I forced myself, behold what I saw. Instead of poo it's blood. Thursday evening, blood. Heavy blood was coming. The blood just sounded. Pwah! I said, ah, ah, what is happening? Before I look at his blood, I said, sir. So, when I finish, I said, is it a miracle? Is it my own miracle? 
Is that because be, when I sleep, before I will wake up, the whole of my waist will be paining as if I cannot, I cannot wake up. For a long time now, I've been experiencing that. And so, as that thing happened that Thursday evening, my waist is free. Everything is free. As, yes. I said, God, who have done this thing, the remaining one, he will finish it. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. He will perfect it in Jesus' name. Every material of darkness in your body, Holy Ghost. Church, yes. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Aborum Victor Collins. It all started 2013 when I wanted to build my own home. Problems started everywhere. As I was building that house, I bought a Jeep that time. My wife was afflicted. Madam, oh, sir, sir, where did you build the house? Where are you building the house? In my village. Come, listen to me. Everybody, wake up, wake up, wake up. Listen to me. Everybody, wake up. Wake up, wake up, hear me. Wake up now, sit down where? Hear what I want to tell you. Um, wake that woman there. Wake that madam. Okay, she's not sleeping. Please, I want to cancel you. Your first house should not be in your village. Listen to me, madam. Your first house, don't go to your village. They will stop you. They are going, listen to me. Especially if you are coming from a place where all the houses around that area are ramshackled houses, like mud houses, everybody is struggling there. You now go and buy land in that place, your father's compound or your area there, or close your father's house or your family land and build house there. Sir, the witches in that community will stop you. And many people, at least not the first time, many people have had this problem that I was, I've seen somebody immediately lay the block, he got back to Baesa, they sack him from bank. Yes, the girls gave him a letter, we don't need your service again. When it came for them, I told him, I said, you went to your village to pay. He said, yes. He said, I said, that was, and he said, the day he laid up down, I said that was a problem. It's witchcraft. But to the glory of God, he has got job again. I want to cancel you. If you know you are built house in the city, and you want to build, first allow others, your brother, all those, your, let them build. Where they don't build, finish, they don't collect all the arrow. Then you go pull your own. Are they, and I, and I, you go see how they place, you see, I've learned one lesson. I've learned one very big lesson in my life. I limit my battle. As you they see me so forget the fact and then say fire no fire no 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 i want to pray make a get revelation i don't know if i go to fight the battle no consign me no 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 limit your battle wisdom you limit battle limit battle limit battle you understand what i'm saying before now early, early in those days if I travel abroad, I'll post it on Facebook. Now, if I travel, you don't go stand for Facebook. You know who Sian. Now, I want you to tell now. At my level, last year I was in Israel before the Quran. But you don't see me. Nobody will tell you I went to Israel. I went to Israel with my wife and I came back. But you won't see it. Some of you, God just bless you small on Facebook. You don't get fire. She, she, fire. You don't get to. Now, grace, they cover you. You just make small money now your village. You don't go to go share money for them. Listen to me. I'm giving you cancer now. Avoid trouble. It's not that you are afraid. Eh, your money. See, if you if 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 you know that it's a necessity, you normally travel. Look for a community that is close to your place. Go there, be your house. If you go, like one man is from Ukamafu. He lived in Abuja. Very wealthy. He came to our back and bought a land. There is a man. He built a house there. So when he comes, he will go to the village and see them. He will tell them he's coming back. He will go to that his house and stay. His people do not know that I have a house in that back. But he's from Ukanafon. I you see what I'm saying now. I don't know that I know what I'm talking about. The distance that about is very far. So you go to a, a, a community, a village that is close to your place. Get that place. Nobody know you there. Nobody bother you there. Pull your house. If you say you need to go from there, go greet them. Then, uh, I'm with just give them one story and just from there. If it need be, but I will cancel you. Your first house should be in the city. 
not your father's house. Not your village. You hear people that I tell you? Not your village. Avoid it. But if your village is like, they have become like a city, like this element now, uh -huh, where everybody have built houses, strangers have entered, your father's compound, or your brother, they built houses, you, know, you cannot go there and show, and show, and show color. You cannot do that. Say, since all of them build a uh, bungalow, I want to put a uh, duplex. Now, no problem. Because everybody don't build. But we're in a mod. Everybody struggle. You now go there. Come mode block. Come they build one heavy. Then go fight you. You don't need to say. You don't need a prophet to tell you. Then go fight you. Let me tell you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Fire on. So my wife was afflicted. I treated and did all I could to no avail. I had to pack out of the house. I sold my cars. I was eating from hand to mouth. So getting last year, early last year, my father fell sick. My younger one, the third son, took him to the hospital because that one doesn't like spending money. Took him to the hospital. Then I asked him to make a deposit. That was when he called me. That was when he remembered I'm the elder brother. When I go to the hospital, I said, you that brought him to the hospital, how much did you come uh, with? He said, he didn't come with any money. I said, okay, we'll take him home. He said, how? Okay, let me go and look for money. I said, go and look for money. I waited him for like three hours. I didn't see him. I had to move my father to another hospital. I made a deposit. I stayed in the hospital till night. When I was coming, I entered Okada. I lost memory. I couldn't remember where I was staying again. So my, the Okada took me past where I was staying. I say, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just revise. The Okada now revised back. Then I say, run small, small. When we go to the place, I say, okay, stop. He stopped me. I now carry chair and sat in the front of my wife's store. I didn't could remember myself again. I don't know where I am again. I was trying to call my wife. I couldn't call her. As I stood up to meet her, I just fell like a tree. That night, she rushed me to a church. They prayed in the morning. We came back. I wasn't eating anything again. And that period, my father was still in the hospital. One deeper life woman, my uncle's wife, was called. He said, she said, according to her, that she had been calling my line, sending message that she wants to see me, that she was in a dream. She saw when my father was dragging me to a forest. My father was wearing white. Me too was wearing white. She was calling me that I refused. I said, my, and my father and I, that we are going to somewhere. He ah. said he ran after us and she was doing a kind of oil, pan oil something. She now had my cloth and the cloth was stained with that oil. I said, for that, I'm not going anywhere. That was how I came back. Cha. That time, if I stand up, I will just fall. One day I fell. I saw myself in the mortuary. They were addressing me. I said, no, I can't die. I stood up. Sure. So my wife said, okay, we'll go back to the house. That I should put the house in order. Let us go to the house. So went back to the house. I roofed the house. Do, did parapet. But each time I go to the house, it's as if something wants to gather me and strangle me. If I try to pray, I can't pray. So I told somebody, the person that brought me to, uh, to this place three months ago, that lady seated there, brought me here three months ago. I came after prayers. I went back to my I, I told my wife, I'm not coming to that place again, that I've gone to my house. If people like, follow me. If you don't like, stay there. So they came, all, we all came to the house. After two weeks, around 2 a.m., we are sleeping. I heard a very big noise on my zinc. Boom! She now touched me. Did you hear that? And I said, yes, I heard it. So in the morning, we went to church. When we came back, we now saw a stitch directly where I was sleeping. But the thing couldn't come down. Because there's no way somebody would throw stick from outside because the house is parapet. So there's no way it throws stick from anywhere. And nothing happened to the zinc. So last month, I bidded for a job. I bidded for a job. Some Oboni men sat in my community said, there's nothing will make me do that job. I worship in salvation places. By the special grace of God, the church came to my community through me. 
So when we wanted to pay, they said I should work with them so that they pay the money into the account. I said no. So the money was paid into the, the account of the community. So they sat that, that nothing would make me have that job. I said where I pin my tent is greater than where you people pin your own tent. That I must get a job. The Prime ruler called me and said, I didn't inform him I bid for a job that I can never get the job. I said, sir, I will get the job. So to the greatest, to the glory of God, that job was awarded to me. Last week on Wednesday, I signed the contract agreement. I've come to return the glory to God. Your testimony is probably to Jesus then. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Thelma by name. I've come to give God all the glory for restoring back my health. Before now, I've been having this excruciating headache that even when I touched my head, it's as if they saw and a serious ulcer pain that affects me to my back. Yes. And I don't sleep at night. Once it's at night, my, my eyes will be open. Okay. I have, to, I, have to, I have to explain it to a friend that I'm frustrated, I'm depressed. This is what I'm going through. He said, no, I can't allow you to die of depression. He said, there is a program. Can you come to Portacourt? I said, Bayesa to Portacourt is not far. I can come. And I left Bayesa. Before I came, on Wednesday, the sickness came up again. I had to go to the hospital to, to uh, come with drugs. I came here, I left Yenegua, I came here with drugs. Outside, before I entered the church, I took the first dose. When I came inside, I was sitting, down, I was sitting at the back. I bought some snacks. And a pregnant man was not saying, are you not fasting? I said, fasting. Can she say, this is a fasting program. <laughs> I said, madam, if you know what they do me, you will not even tell me that it's a fasting program. I said, God understands that I can't fast. That if I stay one minute without eating, it's as if I want to die. She said, don't you have faith? Hold on to God. Are you, this is the reason why you came here. I said, madam, just leave it. I don't have strength to talk. Because when I talk too much, my head will be paining me to be affecting to my eyes. In the evening, when the program started, they said I have to go up. For me to even walk upstairs, if I take one step, I will be pouncing, I will be breathing. I can't breathe away. I managed and I struggled to climb upstairs. When I came up, I had to take another dose of the drugs. When I took another dose of the drugs, the drugs, normally I take the one that normally makes me sleep. In the, when the service was going on, the woman gave a testimony that, that boosted me. The woman that has a kidney problem, when she gave that testimony, how God healed her of that kidney. I said, God, if you can do this, a whole kidney problem. I said, Father, my own case is too small for you to do. Through her, that thought, there was not myself. I can't even stand to pray. I can't even stand to even praise God. Every minute, I'm only sitting because of my chest and the headache. On, on breaking to on Friday morning, Pastor and I say that it will be dry fasting, that no water, no food. Within me, I said, this pastor wants to kill me. Dry fasting, okay? no water, no food. I said, okay. I said, well, me, I will do it my own way. After the service, I came out. I wanted to go outside to go and get food. Something just stuck inside of me. Don't you have faith? Is it not the reason why you are here? Hold on to God. I came back. I made that attempt three times. Something was holding me back. Don't eat. You must obey the instruction. I came down to the hot air and I said, God, I want to obey this instruction. Father, Holy Spirit, fueled me and give me the strength. Throughout that Friday, my stomach was filled. I did not eat throughout yesterday. See, this morning, in fact, I became stronger than before. The headache left. The pain left. I means I could not dance. I stood up. I started dancing. I started jumping. Things I could not do, I was doing it. I've come to give God all the glory, all the praise that I'm okay now. I'm healthy. I'm strong. And I'm alive. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tell those people outside that from next year, when you enter here, I will not open that gate again. So if you are not ready to stay, whether it be my mama or my papa, both of them don't die, sir. But I'm just trying to remind you. Once you enter here, I will not open. So I want people that want to pray. You go take permission. Go work on the program. No day again. Those people that go always cook a pesu, they get aku, they get atama, they get everything for there. Because they know that many of you, but when you are here, Nobody cook for you. Even the water. Because you don't go feed drink the water. Except say you did for shower, do your, your tongue like that. Now let there. Because you don't go see the water. Yes, because many of you, they shower, they drink water for there. We start. Amen. So, we will make sure that only people that want to pray will be here. Only those that have issues. So that we can attend. So that we can have room to have. Because now there is mixed multitude. You understand what I'm saying now? So that we will know those that are here. Because you cannot be here 
you, are, you cannot be here for this program. I went up there. Some were lying down, sleeping. Some were sleeping. Like, no, no, no. We don't want that kind of a thing. No, 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 no. I want, if it is few people that will pray. I mean, so, it's going to be a thing that you will take permission. Come and work. I know they will. I don't get toilet now. I told you me before. So when they come, we we'll ask you. You go stay. Say no. Go. Go and get permission. Come. So one people will get issue. We will come. So from next year, now that they announce now, make you know say I'm not announcing. I'm say you are not informed. Tell those that are coming. Say when they enter, you know we we'll come up for this gate. Till we we'll finish the program. I don't tell you now. And I wish I could do with that one. So and I don't talk. I don't talk. Um, um, children. Mothers and their children, Waka, Tilogos, we don't want to see you. Now, those of you that normally eat food, this arena, no good, comfortable for you. Because whether I talk from now to tomorrow, we don't go open that gate. I say, you tell us, say, I they go, I don't come back. We open for you, and you Waka. And when I mark you, say, that food make you go. As long as I did this place, <laughs> you know, we enter here, new program. If you sneak, enter. If I Waka, I say, Waka, you know, as I be Waka, I Waka see you. I will say, sister, come, let's go. And I'll carry you outside. As, as if I just see your face, I may not know your name. I don't mark you for life. So prepare yourself for those of you that want to be coming. That from next year, the nonsense must do what? <laughs> Madam, shout. Shout because praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I come to return all the glory for God in uh -huh. the name of Jesus. Yes. So I'm last, last night, uh, nonsense must stop. So I come here. So one sister call me, Sister Chawa. So my race, 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 must stop for her. I said, my race, 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 must stop for you. I go look. Moto, big man, everything. You know what me time? I got me. I was going to come and race, race, must stop for you. And the reason I have only 1,500 in my pocket. That's why I said, I challenge you. Did now I'm going to collect one thousand and I'm going to register for me. They say, Yeah, oh, I'm going to give me two hundred. Give me two hundred and I think give me two hundred and now I reach out. But since I'm coming here since 2016 or 15, I come in this place with my guys. I say, Praise oh God. People are saying, But I choose for a dream. Oh, I know they chat in my, I know they, my prayer, I know they chat and wear. Oh, I know they pray fine. But they have to, I never see this man for a dream. Where my own daddy friend, oh, I don't have faith. I said, okay. I said, try, try. No way. I never said I'm for a dream before. But as I go house, as I lie down my bed, small. Raise the mic. Put now the mic. Now I said, but I choose. I said, one woman carry food, give me. I said, give me that food. I said, but I choose appear. Carry leg. Heal the food. <laughs> throw away. I said, ah. But I choose to appear my house today. He throw my food. I'm going to ask that lady, what did this sister do to you? He won't kill her. Tell me what you're offending you. He won't kill the sister. Where do you get every time you get carry food? They give him for a dream. Where does that do you? This man no fit talk. They no fit talk. I think come on, I think remove that food from my dream to today. I never eat for a dream again. That's Somebody that shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, madam. The woman brought food for you. You used to eat in the dream before. I didn't eat the dream. Uh -huh. You used to eat in the dream yes. before. So the woman now brought food for you in the dream. Yes. So sir. as she brought the food, you look the food. As well, I can't kick the food. Yes. I can't they ask the woman, what did this woman do you? Okay. Where they always give her food chop every yes. time. Say, from today, we can not give her food again. Mm. And from that day too, mm. no food for dream again. No it ends like that. My life don't change. Your life... I don't find. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find. Somebody shout hallelujah. He <laughs> said, my life don't change. I don't find. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I don't find. <laughs> Amen. I want to pray for you. Any power afflicting you, let that power die. You don't have anybody. Amen. 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 Yes. So from that day till now. Favor. From that nonsense must stop till now. And you get favor. Excess favor. Favor. Blessing. Plenty. Food. Everything. E everything. Everything. My life is changed. <laughs> God, I'm making me shine. <laughs> Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Bess Osazua. I come to return glory to God. This morning, when I went back home, I said, let me go wash my clothes. So I went to the bed. 
and I fell asleep. And I saw one man, this man will trouble me. Every time, he will trouble me. So, and I saw the man, I saw sick on my hand. And I went to he, begin to eat this man. Begin to eat it on his head. I hit it, I hit this man, I hit this man. Or this man, uh, this man died. And I opened my eyes. So I come to glory to God. May never bless you forever in Jesus' name. The strong man is dead in Jesus' name. Yes. Praise the Lord. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life and my family. You share the mic. No, sir. Stay where now. And how God break the cause of death in my life and in my family. Yes. Before I came here, I always have a dream of my, seeing my younger brother dead. Mm. So on a Wednesday, my mom called me and she told me, Tristan, be praying, you know, be praying, you know. I said, Mommy, what happened? She said that I saw you in the gym, in my gym. They come, they, they just, someone come and call me and, and call her. That's come, 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 is dead. I said, Mom, is not me. So I started consoling her. She said, okay. So when I came here, yes, uh, on Thursday, even on that Thursday morning, I was finding every reason why I should not be here on my own. I, I, after planning to come to the program, but as God may have it, even on that Thursday, while we are praying, when we are praying, God visited me. I was in the day when we are praying about spiritual husband and ancestral powers. I was in the dream because most times when I close my eye on my own, I'll be seeing darkness. I'll be seeing thick darkness. So the same thing happened that day. So when I closed my eyes and I was praying, I saw thick darkness. So, but I was not afraid, unlike, just like usual, my usual self. I was very bold. So I was going through the darkness, going through the darkness. And I now saw a man. The man that was standing and he was facing, he was just facing, he, was, he turned his back on me. So I don't know how the Spirit of God just moved me to the front and I, I look at the man, I look at him on the face and the eye was sealed. Her eye, the man's eye was sealed and he's not seen, he, was, he was not seen. Then, even yesterday, while I was praying, uh, while we, we are praying about the, um, the uh, we are praying about my, uh, what that spirit and this is, God also visited me at the, at the back there. I said, may his name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Mercy Dege. I'm here to give God the glory. It all started on when we came for altar versus altar. So when I left left back to my place, and I had a dream. I went to my father, I appeared in my father's company, and I saw women, as an old women gathered together, I was coming, someone and I said, look at her, she will not greet to, she's, she's arrogant, she's very stubborn, one woman was there, and I said, are you white people just talking about this girl, now this girl doesn't have a problem, I came, I greeted them, I passed, so when I was about coming out again, one, the woman that told them that they should not talk about me, now heard my hand, said my daughter, come, look at the masquerade coming, very mighty, that should stand behind her, until the mask is passed. And I bend, I should bend down, I bend down. The mask is still located me. And I started using the cane on my head. You, what? you are very stubborn. Child. You are very stubborn. And I said, ah, Lord of Jesus. I was shouting small, small. I was forcing myself to shout, Blood of Jesus. When I shouted, Blood of Jesus. The next thing I heard. And I saw one flesh fell down. One of my cousins, I picked it. That, see that mask that was beating your head, that was touching your head that time. See the flesh, it's like Bob just blast. The masquerade is dead now. And I say, How? That now they are looking for the person that killed the masquerade. That should find where and hide. That you are finally succeeding in killing the masquerade. I say, Me, I don't know anything about masquerade. I wake up. Yesterday, we were here praying during the VG. Pastor Nancy, we should place our hand on our face. So I did it. Since over three to four years now, I've been feeling sand in my eye. Every time, sand, sand, sand. So after that prayer, everything ceased. Then in the morning, after the review, where I was just, I was outside sleeping. I ran after six, almost to seven. And then in my dream, and I saw a pastor, one of the pastors following him, and one guy coming. And now stand up. And I saw the guy holding my phone. I stood up and I said, this is my phone now. How did you, how did you get into my bag and collect my phone? I was, I was trying to call you, the, uh, the person said I should calm down. The guy and I said, actually, he was not the one that took the phone, no. But somebody took it and he collected it from somebody again before Pastor Nan caught him. 
And I said, okay, pass me and I said, I should collect my phone. And I collected the phone. Immediately, I just opened my eye, carried my bag. I said, hey, maybe somebody has taken my phone already. I checked my banner. I saw my phone and I told my friend, I said, see what I see the dream. I'm here to give all the glory for the divine restoration of my life. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. I want to pray for somebody. He said the boy was arrested and they brought the boy to her. That was what the enemy stole from her for years. I want to pray for somebody. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you that will move your life forward. Let God arrest them and return it in the name of Jesus. Louder and louder. Somebody shall fire. Take your seat. No, hold the mic. I, I want to sit down, everybody. Wait, uh -huh. wait, Pastor. Onyechi, anyamu, where you? Onyechi, she don't go. Onyechi, where are you, madam? Maybe she has gone. She's not here. Tell him to give me this brother saying, he might the sin manifest. Because he, he won't know. You don't trouble me since he won't see me. Ima now, Ima, Ima, this brother. Sit down, don't worry, they are coming. Amen. Just give me his. Yes. While we are waiting for him. How many of you had a revelation about this program? You so, saw not dream, not I don't want, I mean not trans, I want dream, not trans. You had a dream about this program inside the church, not at home. Why you are here from Thursday? Can I see one? You had a dream about this program. You were here, you saw. Who is that? Somebody had a dream. Oh, okay. Yes, uh -huh, let me hear you. Because there are some of you, you can never dream here until you get to your house. So if the angel come, Father keeps saying, saying this. You will not understand. Like what I today, after we finish, I was not even sleeping. I saw deliverance going on and I saw people being delivered. Yes, I saw it. A lot of people were being delivered. Even that one finished the purging. Twice I saw it. People were being delivered. And it was just it came like a trance and I and I, I saw it. A very powerful deliverance was going on. What does that imply? God was still working even after the listen years. So Let's, let's, let's hear that. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was three dreams in one. I, think. I was dreaming and I was waking up and it was still a dream. The first dream is a personal dream. And I woke up, I discover, still in the dream, I woke up in the dream. I discover I was in church. And then, pastor has already told us we should go and lie down. People were now manifesting Deliverance, we are still going on. The angel of God that was taking the face of pastor was still conducting deliverance. I saw, I now woke up again, still in the dream. I saw the pastor, like pastor has come. Because of the level of manifestation, he has to come out. And then people around me got up because the people were manifesting out of dream. So I was dreaming till I now woke up physically and saw that it was all dream. Praise the, the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, who else? A dream about the program. Come now. Come. Maybe transfer. Dream. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was on Thursday when I was lying down in a Bakasi. And I saw my father in the Lord standing close to me. It was, I was like, ah, daddy, you did it. He was not saying, uh -huh, look at the people now, they are sharing gifts. And I saw tall, tall men, they brought a lot of gifts, sharing for everybody. He was not asking me, they don't give you your own. 
I say, yes, sir. And I woke up. Say, I receive my own. And I want to beg you, don't allow anger. Don't let anybody provoke you. You know why? You saw what she said now. They will give you something. But the problem is that the enemy will want to collect it. But they will not see you in Jesus' name. Who else? Where are those people that? Uh-huh. Let's see. No, let's take this one before you go there. Yes. Dream. I asked her. They don't give you your own. And the Lord located her yesterday and delivered her from, um, you know, deliverance. Where's that woman? Um, an ancestral. Okay. Uh-huh. An ancestral spirit from your husband's place. And that spirit is a spirit spouse to your husband. Said um, you came and took your, took um, marry your husband. That is the, that your husband is our own husband. That you came and snatch is what is our husband. <laughs> See spirit. Spirit, they drag husband with somebody. Can you imagine? Yes, let me hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was when we take uh, our porch today. So I went to the other side to sleep. When they say they want to sweep, I, I wake up. I joined them sweep. After sweeping the auditorium, I went to outside there to go and lie down. So I was in the dream. And I saw people gathering. They said that snake fall from outside the roof. Then I kill the snake. Aha. Uh -huh. The marine python on that. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> yes. It was on Thursday. Yes. When I was lying down here. Yes. In the dream we were two. I saw two men came. The two men were white. And we that were here, we were also two. So the two men that were white came to save us water. Very chill water. And in the dream I was sweating. I just came in to the program that time. And I was sweating. So I was safe, bottle water with a glass in a tray. And the other person were also safe, water, bottle water with a glass in a tray. Okay. That is whatever that is your trouble I'll be taken care of. It's, water is very good in the realm. If you are sick, it's healing. But if you are troubled, something troubling you, it means heaven has set with it. Yes? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But if you see yourself taking shower in the dream, washing your clothes, bathing, it's cleansing, sanctification, and removing whatever the enemy have done in your life. Yes. It was after the Wednesday prayers when I went inside to sleep in Bacchus. I saw deliverance going on in the service. So, daddy left those who he was praying for. He came to me. I'm drunk. Oh. I said, I hear that you, you are drunk. That is what I want to know. He said, yes, look at my eyes. I'm drunk. I said, I don't understand. When I wake up, I was like, ah, why will a uh, pastor tell me that he's drunk? So I was, I was telling those that were sleeping around me. So I met one of my girlfriends. I said, the first time I saw pastor in my dream, the only day, he's telling me I'm drunk. Yes, you have to be drunk. I was surprised. I was so, the interpretation came immediately and said, yes, for you to set yourself free, you have to be drunk. Praise the Lord. The drunken is filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I might always suffer now. Me, I will never go back to alcohol in Jesus' name. The people who drink and they don't go. Or if I go to car and push me that they don't die, self finish. It's being drunk with the infill of the fire. Look at my eyes. Yes, you see, that is, is telling you about the fire. That you need to, you need the fire. You need what? The fire. In Jesus' name. Yes. Well, let me take this too. Go away. Madam, you don't know sleep. You don't join them. Madam, you join them. Madam, you join them. Yes. No. Why? Why is the mic? Why is the, why is the scene humming? Why is the scene humming? Of that mic and on the back. Lord. 
The three programs I have attended. Oh, this I, one. Yes. I do have dreams, but at home. But this very one, the one that here. Thursday. Yes. When we came in during the break, and when I came down to lie down, immediately I lie down as if we are in the church and as if the program is round, round, has rounded up and people are going. But I went out as if I wanted to ease myself before leaving. Then a sister, I don't know anybody here, but I saw that the sister came to usher me to other departments just to show me things. So I was following her. She showed me, showed me, and she halted me to stand why somebody, another officer in the church called her attention. She said, I should wait. While I was waiting there, an usher, a lady also, came and told me that I shouldn't wait, stand there and wait. I told her that a lady asked me to wait. She said, no, I should leave that place. So I don't want to make trouble with her. So I asked her, where should I go and stand? So that when the lady comes, uh, she will notice where I am. So she directed me to a point. So while standing there, I saw another lady, this one, she's bulky, she's beautiful, calling my attention that she go into the hall, to the back side and pray. She was demonstrating like that. I became confused. I was trying to tell her that somebody first was with me and she has not finished with me. This usher now altered me. And now you are calling me to go in and pray. If I leave this place, the first person will not notice where I am. But that other woman was still urging me, go in to the back and pray. And do your prayers. So while I wanted to step to follow that other woman, the first one now called, uh, came and gave me a sheet of paper. This sheet of paper is written, the things written on it are on red. I was like, why red? And what are the things? It was a request list. But the title of it was, Animals You Must Kill for the Program. <laughs> and it's on red. So they listed it. The list dash called the animal. List dash called the animal. I was holding the list. I was not happy with it. I said, ah, ah. What program do they have in this uh, church that I need to buy animals with some items no, kill for the, them. to kill and for death? I was not comfortable at all with the dream. So I was still with the paper. I have not taken anyone to accept. When I turned to go in for that prayer, I suddenly wake up. So Those know. are the things you are supposed to kill, not sacrifice. The things you are supposed to deal with, that's what they give to you. There are some people, a family, there are some community where they worship a guna, some crocodile, some serpent. If you are from such community, until you see yourself kill that thing, your deliverance is not complete. Like those people are from a Yoruba area. That is guna. Ugeli. Uh, uh, even though they're in America, if somebody look for their trouble, the team will come out, and, come out and fight. I hear what I'm saying. It will come out. It's a common and they don't eat it. So such a person, until you deal with that, you can't move forward. Yes. Praise, <coughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, last night after the prayers, I, I slept. And I saw pastor. I saw myself. I saw some other person following the pastor me the person and the pastor so he was just walking around laying hands on people and they were receiving their healings so when they received their healings they would just go so the the auditorium was kind of few because we were much when the deliverance when he started deliverance so as he was laying hands on them they were going so at the point we had very few just it was just workers in the church that was left so i now asked pastor ah pastor this side they touch hand they touch everybody i know touch me hand Pastor now looked at me and asked me, say, you don't need prayer. Use hold your hold. I should hold the next brother. I should just place hold me, hold him. And that's all. So I just held the brother and he just touched me hand on the chest and I just woke up. Amen. So a lot of you have got your healing in Jesus' name. God bless you.
If you are sleeping, shout hallelujah. Okay. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Everybody jump up to your feet now. Make it to appreciate God. We have a few minutes. We are sleep now. Please, while you are praying, listen to me. Those of you that are, please make sure you take your shower early. Seven o'clock, we are up. Those who that testify will not call all, will call some key ones. If they don't mention your name, don't get angry. We'll call some key testimonies. And those are the ones that will testify. I hear. Begin to appreciate God. 7 a.m. our service. So note, it's not good. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on. It's not good for you by 7, you are just going to that place to take shower. No. 7, be seated. And I want to beg you, look at the way we are now. A lot of our members are not here. A lot of our members are not here. They know you are here. They will come early. If you just do, they will take your chair. It will be too bad for you that you are here. And you'll be hanging outside. You will not hang outside in Jesus' name. So, very early, get up, take your shower. Before seven, be seated. So that those that come, they will join those people, some of the people up there, and they will squeeze themselves somewhere. Because you have been here since Thursday. It's not good for you to be standing and hanging around while others are seated. Begin to appreciate God. God of wonders, come and do your wonders in my life. God of wonders, God of wonders, come and do what only you can do. God of wonders, God of wonders, come and do your wonders in my life. God of wonders, God of wonders, come and do what only you can do. God of wonders, God of wonders. Come and do your wonders in my life. Say it. God of wonders. God of wonders. Come and do what only you can do. God of wonders. God of wonders. Say, say. Come and do your wonders in my life. God of wonders, God of wonders, come and do what only you can do. God of wonders, God of wonders, come and do your wonders in my life. God of wonders, God of wonders. Come and do what only you can do. And lift up your voice. Say, God of wonders. Come and do your wonders in my life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Don't close your mouth this moment. The wonders in my life. God of wonders. God of wonders. Come and do what only you can do. God of wonder. God of wonder. God of wonder. Come and do the wonders <laughs> in my life. God, God of wonders. 
God of wonders, come and do what only you can do. Oh Lord, do your wonders in my life. Hope you are much and pray the prayer. Do your wonders in my ministry. Do your wonders in my marriage. Do your wonders in love my children. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will cry out, say, Powers that want to return bondage into my life. You are a liar. Duh! Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Power that want to return bondage into my life. Da, 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 Da 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 Yes, uh -huh. in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, powers that want to retain bondage in my life, retain to retain bondage. Father, I say, no, don't go, don't go, don't go. Are you ready? Say, powers that want to retain bondage in my life, you are a liar. Yeah! Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You will cry out loud and clear. Say, Fire of God. Enter my life. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Don't close your mouth, okay? Fire of God, enter me, enter me, enter my life, enter my life, enter my life, enter my life, enter my life. Aha, 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 aha. Aha. In Jesus mighty name, we pray. You are going to cry out again. Say, power to call Jesus in my dream. Enter my life. 
Open your mouth and pray that prayer. We have 10 more minutes to go and rest. Shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please, everybody stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Everybody, as long as you are in this auditorium, stand to your feet. Take these three prayer points very, very serious. Gather yourself together. We'll be sitting down. You feel we don't we didn't do much today. We just use testimony to run everything. I thank God our Father and the Lord has prayed for us. But please pray this last three prayer point. Please, everybody. Oh yeah. Jump, 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 jump. Are you ready? Aha. Bounce. Bounce now. Bounce. 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 Are you ready? Aha. Aha. You need to to them something now. Are you ready? Oh yeah, shakara them. Aha. Now so. Oh yeah, bounce, bounce, bounce. Now bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Anywhere they want to catch you, you will escape. Oh yeah, shakara them. Aha. Bounce, 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 bounce. Anywhere they stagnate you as they are bouncing. I say, oh yeah, shakara them. Aha. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, yeah, shakara them. Aha. Oh, yeah, bounce, bounce, bounce. Mana bounce now. You know, be bounce. Aha. 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 Oh, yeah, shakara them. God bless you in Jesus' name. Aha. 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 That's it. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Holy God. Sir, listen to me. There are many people you see physically in the realm of the spirit. They are in prison somewhere. I have seen it many times. Where the Lord took me to the, it's a coven, like a police, a police station. And people were locked, seeing young men locked inside the prison. As soon as I got there, they said, Pastor, don't leave us here. Pastor, don't leave us here. I asked this, the senior police, I said, how did they know me? He said, we don't know you. They know you can release them. They are waiting for you. They were screaming. Ah! Those are people's destiny. And as long as they are inside that witchcraft prison, they can never become somebody. Ah, that was a day we were in a program in the back. And I, the Lord, up, and the Lord told me, said, there is a sister here. All of a sudden, that, that you are inside a green bottle. And because the enemy put this in that bottle, no favor, nothing is working. A sister fell under the anointing. That night, she slept in that program. And her uncle came with a green bottle and said, look at you here. She said she was shocked. And she said she saw herself inside the body looking very small, like African magic. And she said, he made the man said, he said, thank God you located that man. And he said, somebody hit the body, but me, go! And that small one jumped and enter her. <laughs> she woke up, bah! It means all this while, that is the original. You had that sister, that daughter. He said, take your original has just been handed over to you before somebody was using it. Are you ready? Please be serious. If this thing I'm talking about, they've locked you somewhere or they tie you somewhere. Or somewhere. See, nobody will favor you. Nobody will remember you. You'll just be struggling. You will not have empire. You'll be, you had as I said, she's just alone. No, nobody, God has not created anybody to be alone. Even Jesus Christ, Joseph or Amatiah, uh, was her name again? Simon the Sarin. Help him with his cross. The man that owned the upper room. Then, was it Maria Wu? The woman with the alabaster oil. That put fragments over. So, Jesus, even Zacchaeus. Jesus all through, including Peter. Peter gave him the boat to do what? So, 
you find out that all through the life of Jesus Christ's ministry, people were there for him. So who are you that you say you'll be? You are not meant to be alone. God is supposed to lift helpers up for you. But when they lock you up, that is when the person that's supposed to help you we turn to your enemy. I want somebody to be angry this few minutes we are having left. Oh, you say, my spirit Lord, what are you doing in the prison of darkness? Come out. See, you'll be angry. Come out. Come out. Come out. Are you ready? Say, my spirit Lord, what are you doing in the prison of darkness? Hear the word of the Lord. Come out. We are come out. Hope you want to pray. Command your spirit man to come out. My spirit, uh -huh. what are you doing in the prison of darkness? Uh -huh. Come out, come out, come out, come out, my spirit, man. We are the water of the Lord. Come out, we are the Lord. You inside the water in the forest. Come out, open your mouth and pray. Your spirit, man, is coming out. Your original is coming out. Your original is coming out. Your original is coming out. You must come out from that prison. From that prison, you are coming out. From the water, you are coming out from your father's house, you are coming out from your mother's house, you are coming out, you are coming out. Don't be there. Open your mouth and pray. I come out of her. Oh, my spirit man, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out, my spirit man. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out from the forest, my spirit man. Come out from affliction, my spirit man. Come out. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. My spirit man, come out from the prison. My spirit man, come out. Uh -huh. Open your mouth and pray. Who we'll locked me in the realm of the spirit? Uh -huh. Release me, let me go. My spirit man, come out. Open your mouth and pray. My spirit man, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Open your mouth and pray. David, continue. continue, 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 continue. Anywhere they lock you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come out! Uh huh. For the last time. If you are here, you always see yourself in a particular forest, roaming around, roaming around, roaming around, roaming around. You are roaming around. See, and such people, or oh, you are in Porta Cotier, but every time you just sleep, you see yourself in your village. You are walking in the street of your village. You are going about. You see yourself in your former school. You are seeing yourself in your former school, your former place of work. You are listening where you see yourself where you served before. The guy you served before. That is your original is there. And that is the spirit of retrogression and backwardness. There are many people in America, every time they close their eyes, they are back in their village. Please, I beg you to pray. Until that original come back, nothing good will come. Oh, it's appointment. Are you ready? <laughs> you will cry out. <laughs> Say, my spirit what are you doing in the prison of darkness hear the word of the lord come out 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 open your mouth and pray yes Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 
Yeah, this is the this is the continue, continue, continue. Say, 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 you are coming out. Uh -huh. Look at you, you are coming out. Continue. Co uh -huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We are coming out. Uh-huh. 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 We are coming out. Don't you? Uh-huh. 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 We are coming out. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We are coming out. You can't stay there. Uh-huh. You will not go back to your father's house. Uh-huh. Wherever they lock you, in your father's house, in your mother's house, uh -huh. let your spirit man come out in the forest, inside the water, anywhere they lock you. I command your spirit man to come out anywhere they lock you, in your former school, in your former office. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh huh. Uh huh. Lift up your twins. Shout. Let the fire be loud. We're about to go and rest. Ready to? Twenty-one hot fire. Let's go. Louder. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. It's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. <laughs> Lift up your toy. Let that be silent now. Aha. Lift your hand above your head. Father, anyone in this meeting now, close your eyes. Holy Ghost, go into the means. Begin to check. Anyone that the spirit man is locked in their father's house, locked in a particular room in their mother's house, lift up your two hands. Anyone that always see themselves in their former school, uh huh, wearing former uniform, yes, seeing themselves, uh huh, that's it. Go ahead, go ahead. The angel of God is working, help, uh huh. Lift up your twins. My father is moving, the angel of God is moving, uh huh. Anyone, lift up your twins that your spirit man is locked in the witchcraft coven. Locked under the water. Help that sister there. Locked under the water. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. Aha. Uh -huh. Lift up your toes. Aha. Uh -huh. Locked inside a prison underneath the water in the marine kingdom. By virtue of the covenant of your ancestors, you became a lawful captive. Calabozada, la cuparada, la gidega. Yes, 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 yes. Let go, 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 let go. Aha, that's it. Let go. Aha, that's it. That's it. Anyone that every that's it. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Lift up your twins. Father, anyone here that each time they close their eyes, they will find themselves in their village. They will find themselves in their village. They will see themselves in their village square, a village market. They will always see themselves in the village. Uh -huh. Oh, the religion. Yeah. Physically, you left the village, but they did not release your spirit to follow you. And they are using your spirit to torment you. Uh -huh. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Lift up your twins! Lift up your twins! Aha! My father is walking! Aha! 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 Always see yourself in the dung hill, in the dustbin. Lift up your twins! See yourself inside a particular toilet. Aha! Uh -huh. Lift up your twin. See yourself inside an uncompleted building. 
seen yourself inside a hut, an ancestral hut. Kalazu Bagadandeya. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. That ancestral hut where they lock your glory, they lock your mother's children, they lock your father's children, they lock your mother's children. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Aha. 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 Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Lift up your twins. Six of you. Lift up your twins. Above your head. I see a police now, a policeman. It's not a police, it's a witch. Yes. Lord, those that always see themselves being arrested by police in the dream. And they will arrest them, they will put handcuffs in their hand. Lift up your twins. Lord, anyone that is under the torment of a witchcraft power that always arrests their progress arrest their marriage arrest their breakthrough arrest uh -huh. kalaswa yes uh -huh. one is gone two uh -huh. yes 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 that's the fire that's the fire let go 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 ministers under the gallery there ah let go let go let go holy god Yes. 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 They can't keep you any longer. Aha. 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 Lift up your twins. The masculine spirit that is always pursuing you. Follow you about anywhere you go in the dream, masquerading spirit. Follow you, uh -huh. going before your helper, you masquerading spirit. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Follow, follow spirits. Lift up your twins. Shout this one finally. Please don't play. You will say it seven times and keep quiet. Say, my glory. Come back. Say it seven other times. Uh -huh. Louder. Uh -huh. Louder. Madam, shout it. Number one. Uh -huh. Number two, louder. Number three, louder. Number four, uh -huh. number five, uh -huh. number six, shout it. Number seven. Lift up your twins. Uh huh. Lift your hand up. Yes. 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 Uh huh. It's coming back. That's it. Uh huh. Something's happening on the gallery there. That's your glory. It's coming back. Look at it there. Something's happening there. Your original is coming. How does it? Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Holy God! Aha! Lift up your twins. Every step mother that tamper with your glory, I command her to lose your glory right about you. 
Lauta. Uh-huh. Gazaga galaba ya gadi galaga ya gada gadash. Aha. Fire don't catch up. Does it? Let go. Let go. Let go. Holy go. Aha. Yes. 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 Aha. 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 Enough of that struggling. Enough of that suffering. Who tie your glory? Who tie your star? Who tie your money? Who tie your certificate? Who tie your mother children? Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Aha! 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 Every padlock that they used to lock your mother's children, Galazi Gabandalia. Oh my God! Aha! Every padlock they used to tie your picture. Every padlock, a cutting padlock. I break that padlock in the body. Aha! 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 Lift up your twins. Everybody, lift up your twins above your head. Look at me now. You will shout seven hot fire. Look at me, everybody, with your hands up. After the seventh fire, you keep quiet. When I say one, you will not rush. Don't rush. You will just turn around. And face this altar again. Don't say anything. Your eyes closed. After the seven fire, I will, when you hear one, you will turn and face this altar back. You will turn like this and face this altar back. When I say two, you will turn gently like this and face this altar back. So, are you ready? Lift up your trends. After the seven altar fire, there are people that they have programmed your life to be going in circle. Every time, year in year, have nothing to show. You are just going around the circle. Nothing. Expectation. Expectation. Nothing to show. Lift up your twins. The cobweb they used to cover you. Ahandalia. Ilabozodolia. That circle life. That going in circle. Aha. It must be. Jesus. Jesus. Aha. Lift up your twins. Aha. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lift up your twins. Seven hot fire. Make sure the fire is loud so that anywhere they drop you and they stagnate you, you move forward. Seven hot fire. Let's go. Louder. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Number seven. Lift up your twins. Don't, don't, don't do it with speed. Gently. One. No, don't shout. Just turn and face the altar. God bless you. Balance. Two. Turn. Good. And face the altar. Good. Three. Yes. <laughs> yes. Aha. Number four. Turn and face the altar. Number five. <laughs> it's shifting. Good. 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 It's shifting. Uh huh. It's shifting. That's it. It's shifting. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Help the man. Help the man. Number six. Uh huh. Kalua zika balaga ya gada 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 gada. Uh huh. Number seven. Uh huh. Uh huh. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Power Holy Ghost! Move! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let her go! Let her go! Let 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 go! Let
That's it. Aha. Aha. Let go. That's it. Aha. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Aha. From today. I want the head to be powerful, man. Begin to move forward in the name of Louder and louder. Aha. Any personality behind your battle, behind your challenge. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Help that sister. So this happening. La Zupra Kada. Aha. Uh -huh. They shall die in the name of you. Louder and louder. Lift up your prayer request now with your seed. You don't remove your hand. Lift up your prayer request. Lift up your, your, your prayer request. Wherever you are, with a seed attached. Father, I lift up this prayer request. You have never failed. I want to hear three powerful men. Answer your children in the name of you. Louder. And louder. Listen. I see people that are getting a lot of six zeros. Six zeros. I keep seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Amen. And the Lord has healed somebody of bedwetting again. Yes. Yes. Lift it up. Father, I pray. Lord, you know what is in that envelope. And you know what they have written there. On this mountain, you have. Yes. Yes. Lift it up. I see a woman now. What I see on your request is B-O-Y. You are asking for a male child. The Lord said I should tell you that as you have written in this program, that baby boy you are looking for is the enter your head Aha. As men that are looking for a job. Job. Financial breakthrough. Business breakthrough. If you can shout seven thunders, amen. From the altar of fire. Receive that breakthrough in the name of you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Number seven. I soak in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Any demon in this environment, the one that the Lord has chased out, that is roaming around, we're looking for somebody or the one. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! In your dream, if any strange power appear, Holy Ghost! I put the sword of fire in your hand to cut off your enemies in the name of you. Shout it seven all time. I'm in charge. Let's go. I'm in charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, number seven. Father, to you be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's share the grace of fellowship. Louder.